no. We already investigated this location. This is the Wheatlands Plantation. We were seeing and hearing a little girl. Jeff got the scratch on his back and he was affected. This is the room and area where a son actually murdered his father. Her son is sitting in jail charged with the crime. You can still see the blood stains today, right there and under here. Oh, there it is. Dangerous. To anybody here in the Wheatlands Plantation, we were here talking to you last night. We now have a guest who's with us. We'd love to talk with you. We need help. It's the first thing that comes through. Is it okay if I come over towards you? I know like you... he wants to add another soul yeah. to his collection. I know you scratched me. Dream come true. Dad, it's under the table on the rug right in front of you. Can you go higher? Margaret. Margaret. Oh my God. Who's that girl? I move things. I move things. One lady here. Oh, why didn't that say? One lady here. I really wish one of those balls would roll down the stairs. <gasps> no fing way! Oh my no fing way! So in part one of this two-part series, we blindly investigated the Wheatlands Plantation. Now, it wasn't totally blind. We had a very, very small amount of knowledge about the property, stuff you can find online, kind of the generalized one or two ghost stories and the rumors about what happened there. But we didn't know specifics about the house. We didn't know what, if anything, happened where, what the rooms were used for. We didn't know names of family members, anything like that. And so to start off our second day at the Wheatlands, we decided to get a house tour from the current homeowners, and they were about to reveal some shocking and gruesome history about the property. And we would later find out that some of our investigation the night before was confirmed to be authentic based upon the history that we were learning at that moment. All right, my name is Matt. I'm Taylor. And uh, yeah, we own the Wheatless Plantation. Um, Y'all want to check inside? I'm ready to show you? All right, so we there there is a lot of fabricated things online about this place. There's some things that are true and some things that are not. I can show you right now some of the stuff that is true. One of the stories that are true is uh, Timothy McMahon killed his father in this living room right here and he killed him over a um, issue with the distillery they had. This place used to be like 5,000 acres. So this property was built in 1825 by John Chandler and it eventually went to his son Timothy Chandler who married into the McMahons and in the early 1900s so little Tim there's big Tim and little Tim McMahon Little Tim killed his father, Big Tim, in this over certain things like inheritance. And there was a distillery on the property they made stuff, and there was, they were having some problems in here. And we know this for sure because the county historian is a McMahon, and he talked. He knew his aunt, who lived here back in the like in the 50s or 60s, and she verified that this is true. So I'll tell you a story. Around this area right here, and you can still see the blood stains today, right there. under here. Oh, wow. oh there it is. Wow. wow. Okay. It's where he uh, killed his father in here. And you can even ask the county historian of Sevierville, Sevier County. He uh, talked her to the lady himself and she yeah. described yeah. scrubbing up, trying to scrub this up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, before there was, this happened before there was, you know, polyurethane, stuff like that to keep the blood from soaking into the wood. So, I mean, there was about nothing you could do except for just rip up the whole floors. And that's, I, I believe that's one of the reasons why she ended up selling the property because, you know. She ended up passing away in 1960. Okay, okay. Uh, but little, but little uh, Tim, he was known to be a drunk, the son that lived here. And he loved that distillery. That was his thing. Cause this used to be a shipping. They used to ship and sell lots of wheat whiskey because this used to be a wheat plantation that had wheat all over uh, during the prohibition there was from the story that we were told they were told to get rid of the distillery so the dad did he gave he got rid of the distillery while the sun was out this was a really weird coincidence because i had heard the words burning and whiskey the night before closer burning I'm really confused on this one. Um, and then I heard a uh, lips going. Hmm, like burning scotch whiskey. Um, I don't know. And in fact, the sun did burn down the whiskey distillery that was on the property at one point. Were the spirits telling me about this action during the Estes Method session the night before? 
I don't know. When the son got home and saw that his distillery was gone, that's what started the argument in the home. Um, and we were told that he beat him and then the blood saw, and you can actually see some shoe prints or shoe spots of blood throughout this living room too. I think there's one might be um, over there. You'll see a darker spot. So these are still the original floors? Yeah, these are, these are yeah. Wow. I think her name was Blanche, that she lived here. That was the wife. Um, and she died, I think, of a heart attack in 1960. And that was the last person of the family that owned this home. <laughs> so, I guess, how, how did the murder happen? What, what, like, how did he get killed? I believe it was over the distillery. He wanted he to keep the story here. Beating him is what we were told. Uh, yeah, and then there's stories of shootings, too. I'd have to ask the historian to give you the best answer on that. But I'm pretty sure it was beating him to death. I think yeah, he beat I, him to death. Yeah, I think he was a drunk that got in fights and he was oh. drunk and he and beat him. The historian too, the cool thing, he didn't have to serve jail time for killing his mm -hmm. dad. He got to go to the to the Air Force and serve four years and got off free, Scott free. from that. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this was around the Prohibition time, so that was that early, not like 1920s, 15 teens? Something like that. Okay, this is unbelievably strange. So in this area where the son murdered his own father, if you'll remember last time during our last video, I actually saw a shadow figure right there in that spot. We didn't know at the time that that's where the father had been murdered, but if you'll recall during that investigation, I glanced to the side and saw a giant shadow figure standing literally right where the bloodstains are. Con, where did you see the shadow in here? Yeah, I saw like a shadow. Don't trust the bad ones. Don't trust the bad ones. This whole sequence of events is really strange, considering what happened next. It's almost like right when we're talking about the shadow, it says don't trust the bad ones. Because I don't feel a bad energy in here. Almost like there's just somebody here, but th you know what I mean? Right when we talk about the shadow that I saw, don't trust that. But I saw something right here on this curtain go like, that. This one. Should we try the all of the five? Sure. Relation. Oh, that's. It's also crazy that our spirit talker said relation, when in fact it was a son who murdered his own relative, his father. And considering Jeff is my dad, and we were a son and father team investigating that night, it's no surprise that the energy was a little upset. My whole back, my whole lower back, my shoulder blades it's like there's something there's like a pressure in like this on me dude this is one of the most gnarly scratches i think i've ever seen are you kidding me look at this no dude look at this oh my god dude all the way up what the hell yeah look at how big that shit is oh my god dude What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Dude. What the? How are we going to do this, man? Right move. here? It's it's raised, it's dude. It's right. It's here. Right yeah, here. it is a massive scratch. Was the energy from the murder manifesting itself on Jeff's back? He's a father himself, and he was with his son. Was something stabbing him? Interesting. What kind of whiskey was it? Uh, it was a wheat, wheat plantation, so they yeah. made whiskey out of wheat. And uh, it was the, the, the steel rail location is right down there by the creek. Uh, Boyd's Creek runs right here by the property. So, and they used to ship whiskey all the way from here in Boyd's Creek to the Tennessee River, all the way to New Orleans. Somehow. I don't know, but it, it's... It connects. I've, I followed the river, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I did read where it said that this was the second largest, dis, you know, distillery of that mm -hmm. behind George Washington's. Is that... Yes, have you that, heard is, that? that is true. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah right. from, what I, from what I've read, it's true. Yeah. Okay, yeah. From yeah. what I've read, it's true. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, that's that's huge. Yeah. It's a lot of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, they... So, you know, they had about 4,000 acres of wheat. I believe is what I've seen. I've seen some stuff saying they had 7,000, some stuff, you know, talking about four. Yeah. You never know. And, you know, I can also talk about, you know, th this is the the one verified murder that 
we've seen that it's for sure. That yeah. was. There's lots of stuff on that says 70 murders. Mm -hmm. I, this is the only one that we we have record of and that we know has happened. Right. right. There's some stuff that we just couldn't, we can't, we can't figure out. This place was 4,000 acres. Who knows how many servants they had, you know, stuff they had, battles that happened here. We do know that this place was a, a, a safe ground during the Civil War. And apparently they had both sides, Confederate and Union, staying in here during the Civil War. And not at the same time, but it was a, just kind of like a safe zone mm -hmm. at that time. Now, the, the original house, before it burned down, was a... Apparently a safe zone in the Revolutionary War during the Battle of Woods Creek. So there has been death around this property, whether it happened on this land that we're standing on today or part of the 4,000 acres that the Wheatlands once was. So the Battle of Woods Creek was natives, wasn't it? That's what I, I was I believe thinking. it was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I was thinking. And that took place right over there? Yeah, right. This is Boyd's Creek right here. So it, yeah. I don't, I don't know where exactly right. happened. There, there's certain battleground spots you can see the plaques if you go through Boyd's Creek where uh, more battle happened. But from what I've read, this was more of a safe zone during that time, and and wasn't really, you know, it didn't get caught in the firefights and stuff like that as much. Now, the land, I don't know because that's a mile back. However much they owned at the time. So it wasn't ever like. Um served as a hospital or anything like that. Like, no, I believe it was. I believe it was like a safe zone in that matter too. It like was. There was, yeah, okay, stuff was like that there. So uh, sorry, I should have said that the first part. Yeah, I believe they did have some nurses here and beds and stuff like that, you know. Well, a lot of history in one place. <laughs> one of the cool things about the, um, the bricks on the outside, we were told that this is still like the second oldest brick home in Sevier County that's still standing. The bricks were handmade here on site on the outside of the home so i always thought that was a pretty cool cool fact about the house i did read a little bit today so there's some kind of like a, a geo rock or something is that deal that's down in the basement that is true yeah, yeah it's a geo down there it's it's just a all you see is the you just see the top of it and it's there's concrete all around it but there is a geo just coming out of the basement okay. downstairs oh. it's, it's in the room right when you walk downstairs oh okay. to, the, to the, right. the right to the right ah, yeah. that's the room, that's where we, the room what we were saying yeah. yeah with the door yeah earlier in the basement we had no idea where this geode was that supposedly causes paranormal activity this room feels creepier than that room or like more heavy you feel more or something that door to me that door over there yeah something to me draws me there too we'll have to i think we need to go by the door at some point would you uh do you want to tour the house uh, yeah yeah let's do a house tour so this is the waylands plantation it was built in 1825 um by john and timothy chandler the waylands was a uh, about a four thousand acre from what we know uh, plantation. It was a wheat plantation. It was around during the Civil War. It stood It's the second whole, oldest brick structure in Sevier County. So the property did consist of mostly wheat and the wheat was used mostly for the distillery which is right here by the house and there's still some rocks from the distillery but you, you, you kind of can see the site but not the whole the whole thing because that's kind of how that happened. The, the father destroyed the distillery and that's the reason why the son, Little Tim, ended up killing him because he wanted to keep the business going even during prohibition. So in the original house, from what I've heard, this is this is the story that I've heard and read upon, is the original house was burned down because there was a, a slave girl and one of the Chandler girls playing in the slave quarters. There's a the smaller house the smaller bedrooms up there are slave quarters and I can walk y'all through and say it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were the house, you know, servants quarters at the time. I believe this was a more of a cigar room. A uh, this was like a parlor room down there, down here, and uh, most of the the uh, fireplaces are boarded up still now. This one is still good. The rest of them, besides the kitchen, are blocked in. But you know there was no electricity back then, so, <laughs> so they had to have a fireplace in every room. And would this be considered um, another larger parlor in the plantation? I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure all of these, uh, the trim, the walkways, all that is original. But yeah, these are the original floors in this this place, in this room. Uh, we try to keep as many original as possible. We, you know, we, there's some we just had to do, we had to fix. There were some that were just unfixable. Now, in the kitchen, 
Now, I haven't found it, but I've heard from several people that there's a picture of Andrew Jackson in front of this door. Right here, just because he Andrew Jackson's from Greenville. So during that time, if this was a powerful family, they probably did know each other at the time. When I first came across the property, somebody showed me the picture, but I, I didn't know, I, this is before we bought it and before I, whatever, and they said, this is Andrew Jackson beside this door. And my memory is just too cloudy to remember if it was perfectly this door, you know? Because yeah. like it was before we bought it, but I've heard from several people that there's a picture of Andrew Jackson in front of this particular door. This is the original. So what does that actually mean? I mean, what do you mean? Do you, do you understand that? Or? What, what a picture of Andrew Jackson standing in front of the door? Oh! Andrew Jackson was standing you. in front of the door. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. If I picture was, of Andrew Jackson right here. I'm like... No, no. He was. He, there's a picture of him <laughs> visiting this property yeah. and standing in front of this door. Oh, so. <laughs> Man. I kind of ramble on sometimes. No, so I'm not no I, I was understanding. You know what this reminds me of? I'm going to just side note. Do you remember... Do you see uh, one of the... Is it on um, Spaceballs or something like that? Captain Kirk's right here. Oh, okay. yeah. And then it's, it looks like they're on the screen. <laughs> and then, okay, and then he just opens the door and yeah. comes in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. That's what I don't know why yeah. I'm thinking of that. I love that door. That's probably one of my favorite yeah. things about this house. That's cool. This, is, this was where the slaves used to walk up the steps back in the day. Uh, they, everyone apparently came in through this door. The uh, property owners came through here. The slaves walked up the door. <laughs> So you see most of the, the rooms in this property have nine, ten foot ceilings and if you walk up here you kind of can see the, how the slave quarters was now. Uh, of course they added a bathroom because they probably just had a little, I don't know what it looked like back then, but there's two bedrooms and a bathroom that somebody made it out of it at one time. But Oh Jesus. Did you get oh, that on camera? Yeah, I got from the other yeah, I know, I think I did. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. the shit out of my head. Yeah. Wow. How did I not see that? Yeah. Now, I don't know if this was one big room at one time. I'm guessing it was because there probably wasn't a bathroom in between. But yes, these, these were the slave quarters at one time. I'm guessing that these were all the ones that, that cleaned the house. They were the ones that clean, cleaned, helped the women with their dresses or, or whatever it was they did back then. This is where they stayed, the, the, the ones that stayed in the house. So there were actual slave houses on property for like... I read that too, mm -hmm. whether like foundation or something. Uh, I'm sure there is, and I, who knows, 5,000 5, acres, I mean, that's a mile in all, you know, angles. So that's it's right. like, that's a, it was a huge property and we only got, a, you know, five more acres left over from it, so... Interesting. You felt a weird, both of us felt weird energy from this area last night. Yeah. So it would that, make sense. That area for me and then... Downstairs in the basement, that by the for I don't know. I mean, this would be where like there would be lots of more negative emotions from right. obviously slavery right. taking place. Mm. And I'm like you know a scientist, you know. I'm right. Yeah. We're, we're if anything, we tend to be more skeptical more than anything. But yeah. And we never claim that oh this is this, uh, but it's more like the the feel you have. Yeah. And, you know you can't Trust explain me, all the time. Yeah, you oh, hit your head too. Hit <laughs> just another bedroom for the uh, the owners of the house. So any history up here, anybody that passed away, anything like that? Now, if it was the original house, there was, which it was apparently right up under this house. The original house was, it was built over top of the old foundation. The original house was apparently the in the slave quarters is where the the slave and the little girl, the little Chandler girl, burned down the house. And I, I think, from what I've heard, is I think they both died in that in the original fire. Okay. Yeah, and and it burned down the old house before this one was built back up. And apparently, I think two slaves and one of the Chandler girls died in that fire. So would that be the the demarcation or the kind of this area right here, it, where they might have had started a fire in there or I, what? I, well, it, you know, they had candles and stuff like that, and apparently they, the story I heard was the, the Chandler girl was teaching the little slave girl how to read, and they did it by candlelight, and it burnt, and something happened, and the candle lit the book or lit something because everything was candlelight, you know, 200 yeah. years ago. Candle hit something, and apparently the, the both girls, I think maybe three girls, died in that fire before this house was built in 1825.
This is crazy because during the Estes session the night before, I had actually visualized a little girl standing in that exact doorway. We had no idea of the history. Behind me. Come on in. There's a little kid's voice. Come on in. Oh, a little girl's voice. I'm over here. Like that, exactly like that. Oh, that gave me chills, man. So there's a girl. Okay. I feel like there's a small... I'm, when I'm blindfolded, I kind of feel stuff. I feel like there's a tall man over here and a kid over here. I don't know if any of that would make sense with what you're talking about, but I just feel like a young girl. Oh, boys, I just heard. But a young girl in a dress just standing, like watching us. Okay, who's talking right now? Who's kind of the leader? Please, sir. Oh, and a girl's voice. I heard it. That's me. I heard it. I'm sad. Okay, so if it's the girl and you're sad, what's your name, little girl? Or your mom's name? We're from the family. I heard I heard the family and then forced into slavery. Little Margaret. Okay, so there's the girl's name, Margaret. Or why you visit? She got hurt. When I picture this little girl, I see like white, yeah. really creepy like just white eyes but she's not smiling it's like a sad sad little girl instead of like a creepy little boy or something it's like i don't know she's in the door i just heard this song okay. oh so she's here in the door which is this one here you there's can... three of us there's three of us right the Chandler girl was teaching the little slave girl how to read and they did it by candlelight and it burnt and something happened and the candle lit the book or lit something because everything was candlelight, you know, yeah. 200 years ago. The candle hit something and apparently the, the both girls, I think maybe three girls, died in that fire before this house was built in 1825. Would you happen to know any of the names? I mean, even if they're written down somewhere, we could get later I know, on. I, I could, so there's, I know the owner's names. There was John Chandler, Timothy Chandler. The the big names of the uh, of the owners were the Chandlers that married in. So, and then the Chandlers married into the men. So the Chandlers passed it on to his daughter, who married into the men's. And that that's why you hear uh, the uh, the name Lermock for instead of Wheatland. Sometimes, hmm. some if you look it up, sometimes there's. People refer to this place as Lermock, and it's supposed to be Chandler and McMahon. Okay. Com name combined, <laughs> but we call it the Waitlands because it sounds cool. So just to go for me one more time on the, the fire would have been there, probably and spread over to here. I, I would guess so. Uh, and then that was the little girls. Right. That were, okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. <laughs> yeah, it probably would have been in this area if there was a fire, but. Like I said, the original house burned down, so we don't... Yeah. I don't know how much bones was left over from the original house, stuff like that. Could but there was a Benjamin Chandler. Okay. I, I didn't... I yeah. haven't heard of Benjamin Chandler shop. Is yep. there... Is he a... Uh, he was a son. He was a son. Yeah. did he pass away? What else did we... I can't remember. We, we were yeah. researching earlier. I just... The, all we've done genealogy. is a little bit today, yeah. you know, and I'm trying to hurry and go and look at things. Yeah, I can look into it. But uh, I read his will. I had... Oh, wow. But not when you mention those other names. Mm -hmm. the, what's their last name? Okay. Chandler. Chandler but McMahon. McMahon. And then marrying into that family. Yeah. There's a continuation of the will with those other names like that. Oh, wow. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, you have to send that to, yeah, to, yeah. On the, uh, to yeah, my yeah. wife or something. They yeah, it's kind of interesting. It. So. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Benjamin. It's crazy that I heard the name Benjamin the night before. It turns out that there was a Benjamin Chandler who once lived at the plantation. But there's a tall so, man so, over here. So interestingly that the soldier name came up on here because we have Benjamin, Benjamin again. Charles, and um, Chandelier. Okay. You heard me. I did, yes. What what about behind the you? Behind me. Um can I talk to the little Benjamin? Girl? Okay. All these names were making sense. And like I said before, we hadn't read any of the history before our investigation. So the original structures are are that the the white one with the light on the top over there and the summer kitchen 
in the smoke house. And obviously the big house. This and is the smoke house. Yeah. Yes. This is about like a geode is. Oh, Whoa. Oh, this, this is a geode too, I believe. And, but it's about like that. It, it sticks out of the ground in the basement like that. And from what I've heard, it vibrates at certain times. And apparently that's where uh, a lot of the uh, the haunting stories come from, the, uh, the spiritual stuff's come from. They say the, the geode is something important to the house. I don't, that might have been where y'all got something from the door out there. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't do anything about like the geode, like spiritually connected to that. Yeah. So that's interesting. It's by the door. Yeah. Because I thought it was under that yeah, it's, it's right space, about, you know. It's probably or about the, eight foot from the door. area right here is where they said the uh, where the uh, cemetery that you see pictures of online are from what we found out from the original owner we bought it from that the cemetery story was fabricated I guess I, I don't I don't want to take away the fact that there were probably people that died on this property but the cemetery was kind of a uh, prop for the people that wanted to make a museum out of the place debate if it's morally right or not but for us we, we found out that it was not an actual cemetery location so we just we we took up the rocks with there was just rocks all over the place there were, half of them were gone some of them were still there and but they're just river rocks from the creek here and there might be some over there we can look for them if y'all want yeah and, and check them out sure so you could just go down to the bank and there you go it's kind of what we got no, this side looks pretty. It almost like shale. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty yeah, sure it's this pretty soft. Yeah. But this that is what it all was. Market. This is how they had the graves. This was the that's, gravestones. That's yeah. what I mean, yeah. Yeah. That kind of just like that, or, or that was one of them. Yeah, yeah, this is one of them that was oh. just laying around it. I guess we... Oh, here. They didn't get picked up. Okay. Yeah, this is how, kind of how they had the gravestones for the cemetery. Yeah. And you know, you know, like I said, I don't want to make it sound like that there wasn't a cemetery down here because 200 years of dirt and floods and everything else, you know, who knows what happened. I just want to do more of what, I, I don't want to give any stories of what I've heard. I just want to give y'all what I know. I want people to just to know the truth overall. I just, I just, I don't want to tell y'all anything just because there's a story line about it, you know? Yeah, no, totally. Well, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if there's no cemetery and people are lying about it, you deserve to know the truth, you know, yeah. about right. not only the place that you own, but people right. online who come visit. Yeah. Right, right, exactly, yeah. Because we've had so many people come up here just, like, wanting to see the cemetery and stuff like that, and I wish I could give give them a cemetery, but I just don't want, you know, them to be praying over a river rock, yeah. thinking it was their dead ancestor or something like that. And it's like, I understand there, there's, there was a lot of people that came by that's seen their ancestors on this property, and I love those people that, that you know, that have had ancestors that was either... Uh, slave ancestors or the Chandlers or the McMahons that come by here. We've had yeah. several people come by here. Yeah, it's just more that it's here. Right. You know, not like, oh, they're buried here, but it's yeah. like they were here. They were here. You know what I mean? So, I mean? Well, and the thing is with the plantation, it's almost guaranteed that people were dying and being buried somewhere. Well, yeah, but it's like, you just don't know where. Yeah, And it's exactly. almost a disservice to mark just dirt. Exactly. And yeah, as a spot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wish if somebody had the technology to come by here and, and really show me some good, you know, some good proof, then I would, you know, make it, you know, I would uh, report it as a graveyard or a cemetery or however, you know, how, whatever the truth is. I just, if I know the truth, then we'll put it as a fact down and I'll tell everybody that it's a fact, you know. Super yeah. expensive. Yeah. The owner that we bought it from, we talked to him and he said, no, none of those rocks were here when I bought the place. Those guys that I rented to put them up. So, yeah. That was the big one after we saw the, the, that it flooded through here and stuff like that. We were just like, you know, the, the cemetery is not real. We can't advertise anything that's, we can't advertise something as a cemetery when it's not because it's just, I don't know, it just not, doesn't feel morally right, I guess. Well, you know, I just don't want to try to profit off of, you know, yeah. death in yeah, the wrong yeah. way. <laughs> Yeah. We lived here for about three years, and we didn't have any, anything distinctly paranormal that happened. The only thing that I can say that is weird is, like y'all said, whenever y'all are in here at night, it, it, whenever the road gets silent and there's nothing, there is a little bit of vibes that it's a little, 
I, 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 there's nothing, I've never seen anything, and there's really, there's not any like cracks. This place is built pretty well, but it's the energy the place gives. You can just feel that there's, there's, some, there's history in this house. There's been people coming through here for 200 years. You know, you just, you just walk through this place and you can just feel the history when you're walking through it. And that's what we actually love about the place. You know, well, you know, I, my wife, my, my wife was very scared to come in here for a while, and then and and she kind of came around to it, and then, and she kind of just took it as what it is, and like stopped. Eventually, you just kind of stop thinking about the stuff, whether it's a freaky thing or not. To to know that there was you know murder in the living room, and and things like that, it, it is a little creepy sometimes, but you really just feel it as history. You feel the. The energy from all the people that's been here in the past and and, and you know that yeah, I think that what we talk about all the time is like that very thing like you can't get it across the camera mm-hmm. is the feel right like you feel what's here you know exactly. and it's like that there's life here there's mm-hmm. life here there's sorrow here whatever you want yes. to feel like an empath, mm-hmm. empathy or whatever mm-hmm. if you're an empath exactly. you know what I mean that's the, the hard part that people don't get to experience right. without Living, especially yeah, if you live here, yeah. then you have a lot more time than we do, of course. Yeah. But uh, I think we do it enough that have done it so many years that we kind of feel like we can kind of tap into it quicker a lot of times because we're open to it. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. We're not fearful or, oh, right. You know, and I think that helps to open it up. And, I agree, yeah. You know what I mean? And it kind of it makes you feel more comfortable in, in, with it too. You know, it doesn't yeah. make you as, as fearful. And uh, when I first came up here, I, you know, I didn't know. Uh, I think we were, I think I was like 23 when I bought this house and it was like, uh, I, I just got out of the Marines and I, and I found a good deal. It was before the economy went crazy. Whenever I bought it, you know, I went through here and I was like, all right, I read all the stuff online. I was like, let's figure out if this place is haunted. And I went to the libraries in Knoxville and Sevierville and I went through Wheatlands, everything that had Wheatlands, Chandler, McMahon. I printed it all off and read it all and tried to take as much as I could out of that to make sure that because you know we, we we wanted to we wanted to, we knew this was going to be our home but we didn't know if we wanted to do something like the Airbnb like we're doing now with it or you know we weren't trying to make a, like a haunted house out of it or anything like that we we would rather not do something like that but I don't know you just feel that when you're in a place like this you just feel that there's something about energy and stuff like that you can just feel it in this in this house and and like places y'all been in the past or or you know. And this place is known to be like talked about through all of Tennessee as being mm-hmm. a haunted location. Yeah, it's it's like famous as one. Right, yeah. right. And um, now, whenever I first bought the place, you know, I was kind of skeptical about it. So I came in here and I was trying the Ouija boards. I was trying oh, stuff wow. like that. Yeah, we, I went, I went hard on it for a little while. When there was no furniture before we even bought the place, I went up here and stayed for a while by myself. So I, I went on that, and I had a couple friends doing it with me too. So you know, we didn't get anything from where we were at. With the with the Ouija board, nothing crazy, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. So that that kind of made it, me feel more comfortable about being here. Now, the energy is more of like the thing that I get from it. The the feeling walking through here, like I just I can see a wall, and it seems like you can just kind of feel that somebody like what like if you feel like you see something, I feel like it's more of like that energy that y'all think is like it's something like something happened here at one time that was that was crazy. You know, or or something intense happened here at one time, and you can just kind of like feel that, and it's almost like you can video it in your head. You know, just walking through the halls and walking through stuff, you can just play that picture in your head of the people at that time. Especially when you see some of the original stuff in this place that's still preserved, it's just like that's the energy I get from this place, and we we love the place so much, and you know. Yeah. So after the the tour or the guide with the homeowners. Um, it's interesting how much history there is associated with this plantation, as would expected on its age. I think from the 1700s, and it would burn down, rebuilt in the 18 early 1800s. But it also struck me at how much probably is not known on the history of this place, uh, with all the acreage that was there and the history of indigenous and the, the, the slave issue, of course, uh, lots of deaths uh, with the wars. So it's there's a lot to explore there that uh, it would be nice someday if somebody really did an in-depth analysis of that location because there's a lot a ton of history there. But you know I, I do think there's just obviously has to be a lot of bodies on that land just based on the wars, the slave 
uh, issue and, you know, of course, the indigenous people and God knows what else. So if you guys remember, we did a contest back when we released part two of our Sally House investigation to have a fan or a viewer of the show come out and join us for an investigation. And finally, we got to have Kay Lynn or KT out to come film with us. She's an amazing person. We were so happy to have her come out and, and investigate with us. And I think that it's safe to say that what we experienced that night with her shocked her because not only did she, you know, was she able to see that we don't fake anything and whatnot, she got to see the behind the scenes of what we do on our investigations, even the stuff we cut out. But she also got to experience alongside Jeff and I, one of the biggest paranormal events that we've ever captured on camera, which happened fairly, uh, fairly quickly in the investigation. What's up everybody and welcome back to the Paranormal Files now. As you saw in part one, we already investigated this location. This is the Wheatlands Plantation, and through that interview earlier, we learned a lot of very interesting things about not only what we discovered last night, but just the history of the property in general. So if you remember in last night's video, we were seeing and, and, and hearing and kind of getting evidence from the Estes method that there was a little girl up in that area, one of those bedrooms upstairs that turned out to be a slave quarters. Well, that area is where little girls, I think there was two or three of them were playing. One of them was actually teaching another to read. They were reading by candlelight and that ignited a fire which burned down the original plantation and killed all three girls. So that is really strange that we were picking up on that. In addition, this room right here where Jeff got the scratch on his back and he was affected, it was really negative. This is the room and area where a son actually murdered his father. So it's really weird that I'm here, Jeff is my dad, Papa Spooks, and he was the one that was getting affected and, you know, attacked in a way. So there's a lot of other stuff that we're gonna explore tonight that was kind of corroborated last night, including the name Benjamin that we got, the big man. He was actually a member of the Chandler family who once called this plantation home. But anyways, we have a special guest tonight. If you wanna come over here, Hello. Welcome, Kaylin. Hi. KT. You guys know her online. She, this was a long time ago when we had the Sally House kind of, not contest really, but you helped put it on for the team. And now we're here doing an investigation. We're so happy to have you out. How are you, I'm, how are you feeling so far? I'm definitely nervous, anxious, excited, but I'm really happy to be here. I know it's going to be awesome. Everything you guys do is really cool. So I'm happy to be here. We're happy to have her. Yes. Like we just had dinner. It was a good dinner. Yes. And we've been so laughing good. a lot. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but she agrees that there's a presence or like a heaviness inside yeah. of the home, right? It definitely feels heavy. I already went and walked around and stuff. There are some places in here that are so dark, even with lights on, and it just feels so heavy, especially going upstairs into the slave quarters. I went up there alone and it's, there's brave definitely for that. something. Very brave. Yeah. <laughs> there's <laughs> something. We wouldn't even I do that stay last long. night. No. <laughs> Well, she's never done an official ghost hunt with all the equipment, mm -hmm. so it's a first timer thing. I think it's going to be cool to have her perspective on, you know, how this all goes and, and to show like people on the other side of the screen how we operate, you know, because yeah. now you get to see it. It's exactly. not like we're, it's not like Jeff runs over and pulls a string and slams the door <laughs> shut, you know? He still might though. He still might, he still you know, never you know. never know. Never know. But <laughs> this guy right here, you really, you really <laughs> never know. How well, are you feeling, man? Um, well, I got three strings tied to my shoes, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> really? What do you can't mean? See? Well, you can't see him. Oh, okay. oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually really excited to have KT. And my excitement is like to put her into some positions, not to scare you, but to get her feel of energy and how it affects you. Uh, which is what I say you can't get across the screen to people, uh, how you actually feel. And so that's going to be, I think, a really unique part of this for us tonight. And I'm excited to, to get going. And I want to say that today, you've been acting weird in here. Like you had a, a low blood sugar episode, like the energy in here has been like yeah. even off camera affecting you. Yeah, well, I had my thing happen there. Today, um, we went and worked out. I had like, I, I didn't have a blood sugar meter. You know, I get low blood sugar, but I was guessing, I told you, Colin, I thought it was probably in the 20s. I, I was like sweated, like I was going to pass out. And I ate a bunch of sugar and orange juice and it took me about 
you know, 45 minutes to an hour to feel kind of okay, and I'm still kind of feeling a little weird. So I, I don't know if it's connected, but there's definitely um, a memory I kind of have already with this house, with getting scratched and also how I felt today. So there's, you know, not nothing with the owners. Owners are fantastic people or the home. I think it's just the empath part of me that feels something here that's affecting me, so. It's really quiet in here tonight. Yeah, I just told KT that once the traffic dies, it gets really still. Dead so you're excited? Very excited. Okay. Also very nervous. <laughs> yeah. Me too after last uh, night it, a little bit. This yeah. is kind of what happens. I, I feel the same way, so don't mm -hmm. feel at all. I just feel like something's going to happen. I don't want it to be bad. Right. right? I don't think it will be. Let's do it. And I got to say, it's almost like deja vu because we're here investigating the exact same place yeah. two nights in a row now. I know. It's kind of weird doing the same like intro here. Yeah, I think I'm going to change chairs when we go in there. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Somebody yeah. else can have Good their idea. back to the doorway. So. Okay, well, you guys ready? Yep. Let's, uh, let's do let's it. Start. Let's start right over let's here. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So to start tonight's investigation, we're going to be here in... The same room where we started the last episode or investigation last night. This is the parlor area. Last night we didn't know the history of this room. Now we know that this is where the gruesome murder took place. Right over here. I don't know if you can see it with these lights, but where we have these devices set up, there is actually blood stained into the wood. There's actually, you can that see that dark spot really very hard. easy. And then right here, where this is on, right in this area. We're gonna start here. We're gonna move on and actually properly investigate the slave quarters area upstairs that we didn't actually go into last night. We didn't investigate at all. And then tonight we're gonna to end in the basement, which is like Jeff and I were saying last night, is a place that is really, really creepy and full of energy. And it has that geode rock thing that may be the cause of some of these hauntings. But yeah, I say we start. Okay, all right. To anybody here in the Wheatlands Plantation, whether you're from the Chandler family, you were held here and forced to work against your will, or maybe you were murdered right here. I know we were here talking to you last night. We now have a guest who's with us who also would like to talk to you. But we're just gonna reintroduce ourselves. My name is Colin. I'm Kaylin. And I'm Jeff. If you are here, we have a lot of little toys or tools. You can see some of them are glowing. You were playing with them last night. If you walk over and touch any of them, like this, we'll be able to see that you're here with us. We also have some balls on the stairway, which I would love to see you play with, especially if you're one of the girls who died in the house fire. It wasn't your fault. There's also up here, I know last night someone was playing with these flashlights we have set up, these lanterns. If you grab onto those, they'll light up and we can see that you're here. So I'm just gonna ask to start this off, if there is anybody here in the house, can you give us some sort of a sign that you're here? And it's, it's okay to come out. Uh, Kaylin is really nice. We were here last night. Nothing to be afraid of. We'd love to talk with you. This is exactly what happened yeah. last night, mm -hmm. remember? Yeah, it's, we waited and it starts happening. Uh, who's in here with us tonight? Nine. Mine said nine. Nine, without saying it? Yeah, without saying it. Are you a nine-year-old girl? Hmm. We know you're here, so maybe just tell us one of your names. Use your energy into Kalen's device or Collins and tell us your name, one of your names, please. My neck. My neck and fearful. My neck. You know, it's really weird. Last night we got choking yeah. and another mm -hmm. neck thing. Mm -hmm. Morning. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 there it goes. Okay. Okay, it said warning. Oh, my camera. Warning. Quit. No space. The memory card slot. Oh, and this one right here is moving. It's going off too. Colin, something happened with the camera. The memory card's out? I, I, yeah, I don't want to mess anything up, so. 
That was all at once. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so someone is Use here. Camera. Use camera. Oh my gosh. Right when the <laughs> Wow. I mean, I've never heard that on there. Yeah, right when the camera runs out of memory card too. Yeah. Okay, here, I'll give weird? you this one and I'll swap it out. Okay. Can you tell us your name? Is that what you're saying? Car okay, there's a name. We asked for a name. If it's you, Carl, did you used to live here? Oh. Uh oh, okay. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Is there anyone else here? Ivy. 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 Dude, Ivy is I think one of the girls' name. Oh. But I got chills, man. Ivy's in the also. It's either a, a, a phone in the middle is moving. Wow. It's not oh, it is. Though. Oh, I got. I'm actually totally chills. Again. Yo, this is in way more yeah. quicker than it was last off. night. Yeah. Maybe Kaylin. Pagan. 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 What is it? Pagan. Pagan like the religion. Okay. Yeah. Maybe Kaylin. I know you. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. do know us. We were here last night. Can you touch that thing again if you remember us from last night? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> you touched it. Just a light little touch. <laughs> so, Ivy, if you're here, yeah, can you make that go off this device again even more? If it's you, Ivy? Why are you here? We're here to talk to you. Oh. There. Okay. Dude, that's cool. Oh, I got chills, dude. Kaylin, go ahead. Maybe you can communicate with Ivy. Can you can you make one of these on the blood stain go off? Oh, this, what, this ball's going off. Oh. Yeah. I saw it move. Did you? Okay. I did. Mm -hmm. Is this the one you were talking about? Or no, I thought the table. the table. But this one, yeah, you saw it, right? I saw it. Yeah, it really okay. Wow. That's the most this pod's going off. Dude, this is like 90 this, times what it was last night. This is really good. Really good. Disagree. Song. Disagree. Yes. Oh. It said disagree. Can you make one of these devices on the floor right here go off? You can touch this one the same way or you can move one of the balls. Age. Were you pregnant and you were murdered? That could have been someone who was on the plantation. You know, that happened so many times. The owners got slaves pregnant and then they were murdered. Is there anyone else here with us? Go right. Go right. That was her. That was her. so weird it stops that was her ivy but then who's talking who's talking to us right now huh? yeah thank you but who is talking to us say your name in this device again of kaylin's or collins please you said go right if you're over there near the stairs or that parlor room where we were talking last night could you move one of those balls or make a noise We'll come over there. Money. Honey? Money. Honey, badly. Just hear her we're like, what was that? What is that? Honey? Money? <laughs> money? <laughs> we could all use some money badly. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Amen to that. Yes. Elmer. Elmer, okay. There was a lot of spirits here tonight. Okay. This is like yeah, blowing my mind. Right off the bat. Like, all you have to do is go back to our footage from last night and see both REM pods sitting here all night for like two hours that we had them here. And they were not going off at all. Do you guys like Kaylin that's here? Oh! oh they like you. There you go. <laughs> they, they like you. There you go. That's crazy, dude. Scratch. Oh. oh. Okay. Do you not like me here? It's the same thing, dude. Dude, it's scratch. scratch again. Are you trying to refer to me? 
Where was the scratch? Wendy. Is it, is it a name or Wendy? Wendy. Dangerous. Okay, I don't want to be scratched again tonight. Oh man, my, my upper back again hurts. That's weird. Could be my place. Powerful. My voice is heard. Powerful. My voice is heard. Okay. I'm just going to say, like, you're, you're powerful because you scratch me, and you have, that's the way that you're, you, you feel your voice is heard. And then if that's true, I'm just guessing, tell me where the scratch was on my body. I feel hopeless. This is a, like, really... There's a dark spirit in here. Yeah. Maybe you want to take it somewhere. I don't know if I'm on the right track. Okay, so it seems like you're the same hopeless, dark spirit that scratched my dad. We have remember sadness, yeah. console. Maybe it's the same person. Do you have some sort of reason to not like that guy over there in the chair, my dad? Like why would you want to? Why would you want to scratch him? What the? Fuck? Oh, we heard that woman's voice last night too. Mm -hmm. Can you make one of these other devices go off? Can you? Yes. Make wants to kiss you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that kiss. Do you like me being here? Stomach. Oh, stomach. Remember you were having nausea last night too? Yep, I had a lot of, and I was actually a little sick earlier. I trust you. I'm not now. What the fuck? <clears throat> Yo, that's Wait, good. what, Jeff, what, what is, what is that light behind you? What? What is that light behind you in that other room? I literally just saw... Something. Are you afraid? <gasps> Visual. Visual! Yes. I just saw... So, are you I, afraid? Right there, right there. Are you afraid, though? Oh, it's a f***ing... Oh, I think it's just headlights. Yeah, I could be. Look at the purple. Okay, so it seems like there's, once again, that dark... Can you feel us? <sighs> yes. Yeah, we can, I was about to say. There's a dark, angry, sad person in here. Who are you? The man scares me. Okay, we got, we got, we have, <gasps> the man we scares me. We have an angry me. man here. Are you one of the little girls here? And you know what's interesting is this is the area where- Nanny. Nanny. I have a daughter of my own. Maybe that I trust you. Is that a nanny? Is it not a nanny? Like. Like. Like, I said, didn't I? I said, said like? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it, maybe the little girl thinks that you're like a nanny that she had. Yeah. You know? Because it would have been a, a, a woman nanny back then, mm -hmm. for sure. I have a daughter. I'd love to play with you if you want to play with one of these balls on the table. They light up. If you touch one, it'll light up for you. You can do it. Touch one of the balls right there. You're doing such a good job. My blood. My blood. Dude, my f***ing blood. Oh. Oh my god. Is that what you're talking? Oh, I got. I'm, I'm, I'm like. I'm chilled again oh, here. Oh, so it's probably the guy who was killed. Gosh. Oh, I have chills, dude. She's angry. She scares people. She scares Welsh. people and Welsh. My blood, though. Can we just talk about that? Yes. I've A, never seen that before. B, oh, we're... Oh, 
a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood. A lot of my blood. <laughs> We're literally sitting right next to the blood stains. It's interesting that none of these devices go off though. Yeah, this one they re they're really. I died suddenly. I died suddenly. Oh. Dude. Okay. Can you tell us your name? If you died right here, can you please tell us your name? Can you move over, like Kaylin asks you, and play with another device over by her in front of me? Maybe the balls. I know you like this. You know, I gotta say, it's really weird. It seems almost like there is a man here and a little girl. Like it's switching be between like nanny. We're asking her right. questions, oh, like yeah, play with it. Right. And then my blood, yeah. I died suddenly. Then that man comes in. And then right. she even said, he scares me. Right. She killed us. That's what I'm saying. Maybe what we're, what we're talking to isn't the girl who set the fire. It's one of the girls who died because of her. You know what I mean? Could be either or that. And even saying she scares me, if they were like unfortunately enslaved, they would have been somewhat afraid of, you know, the the family that was in control here. We haven't seen Rempod like this in like we sat here forever. Like even last night when I got scratched, it went off just like boom 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 and then Twice. It was over with. I think you like Kaylin with us here. That's my... 14. That's my feeling. And remember they can answer us later on these devices? I'm in the shadows. So like, oh. how many of you are here? I've been thinking. 14. There's rooms over there. So you're saying you're in the shadows. Does that mean you're in a different part of the house right now? If you want us to move to a different part of the house, let us know. Maybe the man in this room in this area scares you. And you want us to come somewhere more comfortable, but but I need you to give us a sign that's not that device. Thank oh, you. Oh, Maybe turn on a flashlight up there. Up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. something the by the stairs. The stairwell. Um, let us know where you, where we should go or say it. Intense. What the hell? Yeah, that's a weird sound. I'm glad you like playing with that thing, but we need some other sign from you about where you want us to go. If you look over there, there's motion lights, little balls. Even if you go up the stairs, there's all these little toys that'll light up. I'm agitated. Oh, okay. This seems like the angry man in here still. So. Can I can I do an SLS? Yeah. And maybe like Kaylin film? Sure. Choice. Choice. Okay, I am making the choice to go get no, it. No, Joyce. Joyce. Okay. Oh. Joyce, okay. Oh, do you the, see that? Yeah, you see that? The, uh, just went that went all the way to, like that went all the way to green. Yes, what I, the hell? I'm up. I'm up. So. God damn it. I don't know if this is how it would have gotten there. I'm going to go get another device. It did, but dude, look at how much that chain, it was right when that spiked all the way, that changed to a totally different frequency. It's just me and Colin now, can you talk to us? Who's still here with us? Let me ask, is the agitated man here? I move things. I move things. One lady here. Oh, what did that say? One lady here. One lady here. Yeah. Still here with us. If you move things, can you move one of the balls? There's one on top of the fireplace right there. I really wish one of those balls would roll down the stairs. I'd kill for that. No! Oh my no! There's no said. way that that just happened, dude. Wow. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. The motion sensor and oh the my god, that has. 
Oh, wow. Oh. Dude. All the way to the bottom. That was... Oh my that god, dude. That's never happened to us. Jimmy. Oh, man. Oh my god. I have full body chills, dude. Jeff, I just, I just said to Kaylin, I would kill for one of those balls to move. And it said, I move things. Oh, hey, look look right it's acknowledging you, man. Yo, dude, I am like that's that, crazy. That, okay, that's <laughs> really freaky. Dude. I got shot on the static cam too right here. Oh, 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 oh. You need to, you need to and then dude, I'm sorry. That's the. That was really great. Can you move another one of those balls? I was sick. Oh my god, dude. <gasps> no fing way! Oh my no fing way! Oh no fing way, Kaylin! Oh no fing way! <gasps> no fing way! No fing way! No fing way, Kaylin! No fing way! No fing way! No fing way! That ping pong ball bouncing down the stairs had to be one of the not only most shocking, but most insane paranormal captures that I think we've ever gotten in the history of the show. I mean, recently we've had so many, just so many crazy things happen. We've had doors slamming, we've had voices that we've heard, but that ping pong ball, I mean, this is something you cannot create. You can't even falsify. The spirit talker says, it's gonna move something, throw something. I can't remember exactly what it said. Then I lean in and whisper to Kaylin, I really, I would kill if one of those ping pong balls would move. And immediately the ping pong ball flies down the stairs. I mean, what the hell guys, how, how is that possible? How is that even a thing? Let alone the fact that, you know, later on, I'll show you in the video, I went up the stairs with my shoes on and everything and stomped on the floor right next to the ping pong balls just to show you that it wasn't us vibrating or anything like that. And it was only that one ping pong ball that got pushed. So yeah, I think that's gonna go down in history as one of the craziest paranormal captures because of the fact that the spirit talker said that, I said that out loud, and then the event happened, let alone with the motion sensors, REM pods, all of that that, that went along with that. But even though we were very excited, it was at that point when we knew that there was somebody with us, so we had to press on with the investigation. Caleb, yeah, we yeah. love talking. We love talking. Well, thank you for rolling that ball down the stairs. That's exactly what I asked you to do. The REM pod has gone completely silent. Yes. True. It's like, and you know that's the direction. That's, that's the direction it told us to go. Oh, okay. I'm not moving. Do you want us to go in that direction? You did so good pushing that ball down the stairs. I'd love, I'd love to be able to see you do that one more time. Dude, look at. Oh, oh, okay. It, it's like it's on. Oh, the it's, on it's on the REM pod. It's exactly on. What? My lungs collapsed? Okay. Is this one Ooh. going off? Or it's no? this one over here. Oh. My blood seems to come into me. Dude. Okay, let's try to... Oh, the light. Oh. Motion light over there. Okay. <laughs> if you're over there... My okay. remnant is here. Okay, you're okay, okay. Here. okay. You like it there. Okay, if you're by the Kayla, table... Over here. If you're by the table... Can you set that... Can you set that little toy off again you know, that you were playing with? It's like this is the one that's setting off the stuff. Can you make that device go off to show us that that's you that's been doing this? Do you want to? Do you want to make that? this? Here. Dude, that is warped. Oh, weird. Do you like to hang out here? Is this where you hang out? Angry. Oh. What? Look at this thing. Oh, look at the thing. Look at look at it's going up on the fireplace. I want to ask you to do something. Can you set off one of the devices on the table again? It's right here. What, what, what is this? Look at this. I don't know. Look at that thing. It's like growing. It's 
second. Is there more than one of you here? Dude, you know what it looks like almost? A body on the ground. <sighs> you know? Richard. Richard. You were doing so good with that REM pod. Can you set that REM pod off again? The red light right there? Oh, look at, look at the hand on the table. Look at that. Like it's trying. We went back there. Do you want us to go upstairs? Okay, if you want us to go upstairs, jump over on the fireplace. You look the same. You look the same again. Remember it said that yesterday? Okay, Maybe I'm, we look I, like I somebody. This is like... There, oh, it's gone. Not friendly. Maybe that was angry guy. Who knows? Man. Okay, I'm just gonna say, I I don't know why Jeff is underplaying that ping pong ball. <laughs> no, that, no, because you haven't reacted at all to Dude, that. I That's got to be one I of the best the things door. that we've ever captured. You know, none of us even remotely close to the area. You and I sitting there, and it says I I move things or whatever it said. Oh really? And then I literally whisper to you. I'd be so cool if that ping pong ball moved. Really? And it f immediately moved. Jeez. And then the motion lights and the cat balls everywhere. Every There's the oh. motion light. No, I'm not discounting that. Like, and then and then look at the REM pod is completely dead, dude. We haven't yeah. turned it off. Yeah. We haven't yeah. reset it. It just hasn't gone off. And this this figure's gone. Yeah. And even the spirit talkers, guys, look at how quiet uh, yeah. they are. Yeah. Literally. They were going off so much. All of that happened okay. at one time. It's telling us to go. Well, the ping pong ball rolled to the bottom, you said. Should we go it's look? unpleasant here. Oh, okay. It's unpleasant here. That's why okay. we're saying, it's saying. Light one off. Up. I think we should go in there. You know? It's telling us, yeah. Yeah, should it's unpleasant parlor? here. Into the parlor? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I've been feeling really spooky over there. Okay. For sure. Okay. So yeah, let me just scan. Bad things happen. Bad things happen. Look at this. Bad things happen right where the blood stains are, guys. The crazy thing is, too, last night we stayed here and I left these all night here. Mm -hmm. And literally, I was going up the stairs multiple times in the mm -hmm. video and they would not fall off. Yeah. Like, and it was right after you said right that. Right after I said that. And, and you were just saying that. You were just yeah, like, just like oh, it's really so stuff. cool if that happened. That and it's crazy. Like, I've never had anything like that. <laughs> that was crazy. Whoa, I have the chills <laughs> right here. So I was in the other room when the ping pong ball uh, went down the stairs. I heard all the commotion and with KT and Colin, and I came running in, and uh, obviously we're all kind of going berserk on what happened and got the SLS out, and that figure that appeared on the floor kind of where all the blood stain was, it, it just helped document like something was going on there. The cat ball's going off, I think. Uh, the REM pod went off, and uh, just all the tools we used really kind of helped support each other that there was something actually there. That was that was just a crazy moment, actually. But we wanted to keep going. I mean, obviously there was a lot more to explore after that. And we, and we wanted answers to what all this activity was. Look at her, look at, it's on her hand. My hand is so cold right now. Oh. Are you here? It's a little one. You're safe. You can hold my hand if you're scared. Look at that, it's under the table. Look at that our hand. That's right where the the flashlights were going off last night. It's literally, there's, put your hand out a little farther. There's such a temperature difference. Oh my gosh. Dude. Come stand right next to me. It's underneath your hand. It's like hiding under the table. Yeah. Oh, it went on the floor. You can come out. Look at, look at Colin. It's laying on the floor, on the rug right in front of you. Do you want to play? What the hell? Look at. You Kay can set off these lights right here. Kayla, if you touch right over here. Step to your right, and get out of, and come over here before it disappears. It's like laying on the ground. That's great. Feel the difference. Literally. Put it on my face. That one's cold. Oh, okay, yeah, it's definitely. So Look at the thing that's on the wall now. Wow. I, oh, my legs are just like. I hate to ask you this, Kayla, but can you sit on the carpet? Yeah. I want to see if it interacts with you. Can you give me oh, it went into your body. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was freaky, man. I think we should okay. bring this stuff in here and do it. Okay.
Okay, just to show people online how hard it is to actually knock these balls down. Look at. Do you see that? Look at. You have to literally stomp on it to knock it off. That is actually freaking. Oh, up there. Did it just say bye? It said bye. It said okay. had a hard life and then it said bye. Wow. Because we're moving to the other room. Bye. Wow, this is super active tonight. And I, I really think Kaylin. Oh. oh. There you go. <laughs> like literally. Cold. That's my normal hand. Oh, it is Isn't cold. Isn't that crazy? Nice to meet you, by the way. There you go. That's official. <laughs> it's official now. <laughs> you, on the face like I did. <laughs> you asked for it. Okay, last night we were in here playing with the flashlights with you. Yeah, I see you're playing with it again. In the other room, whoever's in there doesn't like to play with the flashlights, but you do. Brilliant. Can you turn one of them on again? If you remember us from last night? Oh. Thank you. Can you turn that back off? Yeah, just a little more. Who's here with us? Stabbed. Oh. Um. Stabbed and hung. Oh, Did you die here at the plantation? And that, right there. Thank you. Can you turn that flashlight off, please? Victim. Victim. Hung. Hung. I mean, that's weird. Stabbed, hung. At the same time. Yeah. The victim. Mm -hmm. I think it likes you. Are you one of the girls here? Growl. Growl. Maybe here on the first floor, it's just the area where there is this angry man. And last night I felt like... Fall. But I feel like we were being guided upstairs and we never really got to do this upstairs. Should we go upstairs? Because maybe you're more comfortable up there? Honestly, it feels really empty. Yeah, it feels, that's what I was gonna say, dead it feels now. dead in here. Just like, I feel like we should just, I know we just set up, but I feel like we should go upstairs. Cause it really doesn't feel like anything in here. You know that we have. We're all around you. Okay, interesting. If there is somebody in here, we're thinking about leaving and going upstairs. To whoever's in here, we're gonna use this little voice recorder. It's a tool that should help us hear your voice. All you have to do is talk. So we're gonna ask you some questions and why don't you try your hardest to answer. Can you tell me your name? How old are you? The angry man, I know you're here, and if it's you, all I want you to do, since you said it, is growl. A loud growl for me, please. Are you stuck here? How many spirits are here with us? I want to know who it was that pushed the ball down the stairs. Are you a little girl or a little boy? If you died in a fire uh, with this house, can you just say the word fire or something that goes along with fire? Here's... Can you tell me your name? How many spirits are here with us? I want to know who it was that pushed the ball down the stairs. Are you a little girl or a little boy? If you die in a fire uh, with this house, can you just say the word fire or something that goes along with fire? Listen 
through it. Really slight, whatever it was. It feels really dead in here. Honestly. It does. I really do think we need to move. Yeah, mm-hmm. me too. We should go to the slave quarters. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, the paralyte in the room where Jeff got scratched oh, yesterday what the hell? is going wild. That's weird. It was not doing that yesterday on the table. It started going off in my hand. Wow. Can you go higher? Let us know you're, it's really you? Or are you the one that scratched me? Did the lights just. The lights just. Flicker? <laughs> Did the lights just... Did the lights just... What the... You know, maybe what this is saying is we should... I saw that. I should yeah. stay here. Yeah, we should do one short yeah. little thing here. I probably should, I think. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on. I'm going to say we do a complete darkness session in here for a second. There goes the K2 in here as well. Okay, I'm here again. You're not gonna scratch me again tonight. You're not allowed. Oh, and the... Okay, so just to make note, I'm gonna reset this, but I put the music box out here. This thing's been quiet the whole time. Oh, what the f***? What is it? The motion light way at the end on the stairs went off right when this oh. thing stopped going off. Okay, that's a little yeah. creepy. Yeah. I'm gonna reset this. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna run a DR60 and, in here. And Look at the music box yeah. is still going off even after and it was reset. The thing is, we have to be really still at this table because it's so sensitive. Yeah, this is a creepy ass part of the house for me. Yeah. It's like the worst feel. I feel like shitty again. It's My just stomach so... is like doing flips right now. It's so weird. Okay, everybody. So right now we're in the complete darkness, and we're gonna do. A DR60, we've got a ton of devices set up right here, and we're at the table where last night Jeff got that really big gnarly scratch, and we're just going to sit quietly. Already something is over there with the music box that hasn't been going off at all, and I already reset it on camera. Who's the angry man? How many spirits are here with us? I think it's the angry man who scratched me last night. If it's you again and you said growl earlier, just make a huge growl into this device. Why do you choose to do this to people? Why do you get so angry? Okay, angry man, why don't you give us your best growl? Can you do that? I'm not feeling well again. Tell me what part of my body hurts right now that you're affecting. Why are you here? 
Why did you target him and scratch him? Why do you not like him? If you are intelligent, then you know who's here with us. Tell us who this is right here, this woman. What's her name? How do you feel that Colin and Jeff came back for another night? Are you the murderer or were you murdered? Why are you so angry? Personally, I'd love to hear you roll one of those balls down the stairs again. If you have that power to, we'll come up there. You guys ready? Let's do it. Ready to listen back? is the first time yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah the first time it was like oops that was me first time it was like rawr, rawr. Yeah. that angry man that I was hearing in the S just yesterday right and now it's uh I think the first time I asked I think we had a pretty good growl yeah but now it's uh quiet again I want to try yeah. just a couple sex on this all this five well I, I use the word seconds <laughs> Like a couple what? A now? couple what sex on this. <laughs> oh, okay. A couple sex. You guys. Bled. Carry. Bled. Carry. Was it a body that was bleeding and you carried it over into that room? What the f was that? It sounded like, hey! Yeah, but far away. Yeah. Not like a woman or a kid. Hello? Hello? Certainly strange. There is nobody out here. And the only fucking thing around here is the highway right there. Hmm. So at that point, we decided to head upstairs to do an Estes method session in, unfortunately, the old slaves' quarters. We had, I had seen that girl in the Estes method earlier uh, the night before to hear from the property owners that a couple of, of young girls set fire to the original plantation home. Um, it burned down and those girls lost their lives was incredible because that's history that you can't find um, that we, we definitely didn't know before. Um, and so we wanted to go up there and see if we could talk to the girl and see exactly who she was and what she wanted. So we're upstairs right now. This is in the old slave quarters. If you remember, yesterday we did the Estes. Just through this hallway, there's another bedroom, and then we did it in that bedroom that's up there. And that's where we learned, 
I was seeing a, a little girl in the doorway. And what we figured out through our tour today was that a fire was started up in this area by some little girls and that fire grew and actually engulfed the entire building and burned the first iteration of this building to the ground. And there's still some elements or, I don't know if you'd call it wood or framework from the uh, original building that are incorporated in this new building. This is where we're gonna do our acid session before we head down to the basement. I guess. <laughs> Here, I can take this from This you. is about to die. Really? 7%. Why don't you guys, I'm gonna give this to you. Why don't you guys ask a few questions just to see if you hear anything. Hey, just watch it, man. Do you see this glowing blue light in the doorway? You can come near it and it will change colors. Very good job. Damn, I got chills. Oh, man. Thank you. Can you touch some of the other things in this room? There's a whole bunch of light up balls on the floor. Kalma, mm -hmm. Fox turned blue orange. Kate, Kaylin asked it. The REM pod was going off. REM pod? I said, I said, come on down. And you said. I said the, the glowing blue light was on. They could come near it and it'll change colors. Boom. Oh, that right. means it's in the room. That's what, yeah. It's right here. We are wet, wet, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. And anybody else wants to come in? Come on down. I think they're here. That's a creepy thing to say. Well, <laughs> I mean, I think everybody... It's like an horror movie. That's going to join. Okay, well, I think it's perfect time to do the Estes. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, they're, they're on both sides. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. they're standing in the doorway. Oh, look! It came into the room. Oh, it's fun. Okay. I think there's more people coming in, actually. There's cat balls up there. Oh, both of them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Two of them. There it goes again. Thank you all for coming and joining with us. Anybody else, you can come in. To anybody. You're welcome. To anybody in here, I'm about to do something where I can speak with you. So if you just use your voice, we should be able to hear it. And I'll be able to actually hear what you have to say. So just try to use your, your voice and talk to us. Look, look, dude, it came in the oh my gosh, Dad. It's fully in here, right when I said that. You're all welcome to come in. Keep coming. It seems like there's a lot of you here. Look at the camera. Oh, the other one. I mean, there are a ton of people in here, I think. Keep coming. You're all welcome to come in. So Colin, talk to Colin. Um, how many spirits welcome are Welcome in. Who's here? Who came in the room with us? That's just the way. Yeah, but how many? Who? Who? Did you live here? Were you slaves? Are you from the cemetery? Where are you from? Can you tell us your name? Ten. Okay, so how about like Kaylin said a name? Just even one of your names. Margaret. That was nuts. Who else is here? Oh, someone just came in again. Who just came in? Our safe place. Okay. Hmm? Are you happy up here? Safe from either him or them. That's why it's a safe place for <clears throat> Does the bad man stay downstairs? We're, we're no. here. No. Mm -hmm. Correct. Is he here right now? Right here. That's a yes. Nine. Nine. Who else is here? Can you give us another name? My friend. Your friend, but what? what's your friend's name? You can say it. Kalen asked you the name. Can't leave. Okay, but how about your friend's name? Let's go back to that. What's your friend's name? And we're here just to be friendly. With this you. area is okay. Do you feel safe with us up here? We do. I, oh, that's, that's good. That's good. 
That's a great thing, yeah. Yeah, we're here completely, we're friendly, but... Who are you? My name is Kaylin. I'm Jeff. He doesn't like you. What do you think? What do you think it is? We did it. I think it's that mean guy. Yeah. Who are we speaking to? Oh, I heard that same man voice that was... <clears throat> mean guy. Mean guy. Who don't you like? Tell us a name. I see a man. Don't know him. Do you not like Jeff? Edward. Is Edward a nice guy? What do you think about Edward? Is he nice? You can't help. Are any of the girls here like Kaylin said? Or we talked to one last night. Are you here? Did you just come in? What's your name? Did you start the fire? She's around. Okay. I hear something. I'll get you. It, it, oh. oh. And, and the red pot's one off. Ooh, a, a, a small uh, boy or girl. <laughs> okay. Can you touch one of the balls that's in here? Margaret. That's her name from last night. Not the little girl. Like burning scotch whiskey. Um, I don't know. Little Margaret. Okay, so there's the girl's name, Margaret. Okay, Margaret. What's your mother's name, Margaret? Margaret. She went in it. She went in it. Who? Or something. So, Margaret, did you start the fire? I feel cold over here by me. I don't know if you guys feel that. So, that's what I wanted. So, Margaret, if that is you and you wanted the fire to happen, why did you want the fire to happen? I didn't. Who wanted the fire to actually happen? Margaret, if you're the one I'm talking to. Can you answer that? W A. William. To get even. Oh. Said it. So W A wanted the fire to get even. Even for what? What happened to him? I punched her. Look to your left. What's to my left? Oh, I feel cold over here. Okay, there was to my left and I just went out. Oh, creepy. Eva. Why are you Is so Is this angry? a toy? There's some it, toys in here. It is. This is the one it seems like you're playing with. If you're playing with this toy right here, then turn it blue. I'm having stomach pain. Oh, look at Look at Want blue? Look at <laughs> You said the same thing. <laughs> then it went back to it's off. If you don't want to say your name, can you say one of our names? I was forced to work. Again, the male. That name. The guy in thing. The angry guy never really talks. He just like grunts and... My mom died. Okay, so that came up last night. <clears throat> Margaret. She was choked! Oh, right after my mom exactly died. what we had. Same thing. We had that earlier on the mm -hmm. Scare Talkers too. Mm -hmm. It said my neck. Mm -hmm. And it said choked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So Margaret, if you're back, and your mother was killed, we got also domestic abuse. Have you come in the room? Margaret, what was your mother's name? Yeah, just for me, I'm just not hearing that many voices in here. How about Margaret's mother? We got... Um, I was seven. Con console, suffering. One we were talking about. Margaret, I'm hoping you're still here. Don't like the light. Do you 
want us to turn out all the lights? Oh, little girl. Please? I think we gotta do it then. Okay, so we turned the light off for you. I'm assuming Margaret. So I hope that's better for you. And again, we just want to know your mom's name so we can make people know her name. Who, who's who's in the room right now to step forward and talk with us? He touched me. Hey, bro. Okay, that's the angry guy. Oh, creepy man. Shut up. Like, shut up. Jeff! We're, we're here. We, we want to talk to Margaret. And this angry man, you can go away. Margaret, you're safe with us. So Margaret, can you let us know you're here? You were here last night. and we, we You were one of the three girls that seemed like was involved with the fire. They would never. So the girls would never do the fire? Because they could be blamed, right? Remember? They didn't really want it to happen. Who actually started the fire? And don't be afraid of this angry man. He's not. The girls died. That was sad. But who actually started the fire? Because the girls were blamed for it. I know him. Who was it? What's his name? Okay, what's the name of the guy that started the fire? I got blamed on the girl. Whiskey. Oh, okay. Does that mean the sun? Close your eyes. Okay. That was the dad. Old people. You won't get in trouble by telling us. He's down there. <laughs> Waiting. So is the guy downstairs waiting that started the fire? Mm-hmm. Really yeah, I, I was thinking like I'm having a hard time seeing. Yeah. You know, just like I'm out of focus or something like the camera is. But can you just tell us the name of, of the man waiting downstairs for us? We're gonna be going pretty soon, so now is the time to, to say it. Are you scared of him? Baby. Yeah, right. Okay, so... Oh, that blue light just went off. That can't... That candle. How about you come in here? We have a whole bunch of fun toys to play with. No. Candle was the, the fire source. They said. Bad room. I, I don't know who we're talking to, really. Mm, I feel weird, cold. I saw him. Okay. Behind you. Seems like a whole bunch of different people are yeah. coming in, but they're not the bad man. Mm -hmm. All the powers. Mm -hmm. So someone can step forward that can face this mean guy and clear the names of these three little girls that they're blaming for the fire that killed them all. We just want to know the actual name of the person, this man, who actually started the fire with a candle. Christian. Okay. Oh no. We've got to write that down. Christian. Christian, remember. Christian. Quiet down. Whispers. Well, thank you for telling us that name. We'll never know if that's true or not, but we can research it. So, little girls, if you said that, or someone that likes the little girls. Please. Okay. We are going to look into it for you. I found you. Okay, I'm going to be done. Okay, that's tiring. Oh, my God. Anything? Oh, yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like that none of that made oh, sense. Yeah. yeah. You answered some direct questions. I actually got questions. really dizzy, man. It's a, it's a weird room up here. Mm -hmm. Like we were saying, we don't feel that well. And you had your blindfold on, but I think it's the closed, confined area. Yeah. 
it's the walls are you know uneven you know the ceiling the ceiling's so low it yeah just, it feels dark mm -hmm. is it fucking freezing cold or it just it, me it's cold it yeah. got it's like colder. Out, yeah. yeah oh well God. you want me to <laughs> it's low but Holy I, fuck. I i think that you know we were we were really pushing for a name we were thinking that the girls got blamed mm -hmm. for starting the fire, but that really? somebody else did. Yeah. So at first, uh, it seemed like a girl was saying, I wanted to do it, or something like that. Okay, well, you, you, you said Margaret, and that's Margaret. who showed up I last heard night. Margaret, which is Margaret when I was, was like, here oh. last night. And it was very clear, like, Margaret. Yeah. Like that. And mm -hmm. the three girls, and then we got a name, mm -hmm. and I asked, like, they're getting, they're getting blamed for the fire. Mm -hmm. Candle came up. And I told Kaylin that the candle was the source of the fire. Mm. But then the idea was like, like she said, they're blamed for it. You know, all that thing's just going on and on. And on. Yeah, what the hell? People coming and going. That sucked my energy. Yeah. Well, we're going to end in the basement. And yeah. the man is waiting for us there. Yeah. I'm assuming it's Christian. Oh, God. I didn't even think about that. What? He's, He's down. Mm -hmm. Did I say downstairs or down? I think. I can't remember. I, he's we down are. there waiting or down. I don't know. Oh yeah, something. If, if I, but it's definitely either down. way. It's definitely he down. He said he's down there. He's waiting. He said waiting. He's waiting. <laughs> he's waiting. For I, you. I forgot we have to go to the basement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any kind of final thoughts? Weird feeling. Not creepy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just like just off. Mm -hmm. Like dizzying. Mm -hmm. I feel like my energy is like just mm -hmm. sucked mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. How about you, Kim? I'm feeling gingerly charged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Actually, oh, though, that's like the maximum. <laughs> that's you don't energy. know. Look at look oh, there you go. Oh, so, yep. There's the words. magical that's words. Right. Gingerly charged. No, I I actually am feeling like really tingly, like all over. Like, it, it definitely, I feel the energy in here. It's weird, it's, though. Hey, it's really the, weird, and it's it's up and down. That's the definition of gingerly charged, tingly all over. <laughs> <laughs> up and down. <laughs> you nailed it. Yeah, there you go. We got but, you know, now. <laughs> I'll say, though, that it's like, it's not scary, yeah, you know? No. Downstairs can actually get a little freaky. So, what I was going to say... About the feel here is like it's a safe place right you yeah said, and it's safe i don't feel like any bad i feel kind of i don't feel well because of more like their situation right a slave's quarter but i feel it's their safe place and there's a lot of people back and forth because they're both quarters mm -hmm. yeah right so i think they're all together mm -hmm. and not and they have a mean guy that they protect each other from is what my feeling is. Yeah. You know what I Christian think? Guy. I think before we go down to the basement, we should do three mini alone sessions up here. Someone can have this bed, someone can take that bed, and someone can take the other bed, and we just sit there for five, ten minutes and just see what we hear. Everybody brings a device just in case we actually hear something. Which I think, think it would be kind of funny to have which a competition. One, which one don't you Oh, who gets the most activity? Or something? Well, the words. <laughs> the most I meant accurate like, words uh, that are applicable to the location. They're one, two, rock, three. Rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Okay. Whoever wins stays in this room. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, <laughs> boom, <laughs> mother. <laughs> okay. So Wait, now you guys play each other for this room. Oh, wow. They like it. They like, like it. Games? Okay. Okay, now right, you okay. guys are going for this room right here. Rock, rock paper, scissors. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jeff, you're so in this I, room. Which room am I? This one is the room I'm going to be in? Yep. I you guess, guys get yeah. to choose. And then I guess I'll give you the middle room okay. because oh, I, yeah, we you did that yesterday. Right there you go. Okay, so I'm here. That works. Yep. All right. So okay. See you, Jeff. We're ready to go. Yeah. Adios. <laughs> so, <laughs> See how about the cameras? Yeah. So we thought it would be interesting because there were three of us there at the plantation that night. Um, if we all three split up on the same floor, we all use the spirit talker and maybe a REM pod device or two, and we all tried to talk to whoever was in the area. And the, the, the investigation results were, were very compelling. 
I'm gonna cut to those three solo investigations now. Okay, so we're leaving Jeff in here. This thing is going nuts. Okay, so Jeff's gonna be in here. This room is the active one. I, I lost drawn straws. This is the room I'm in. See ya, buddy. Okay, oh. Kaylin, <laughs> you're in here. Well, I'll be across the hall. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm currently in the master bedroom. This is where I slept last night. Don't know if I really want to find out who's haunting this area or what is, but we're all doing a spirit talker right now. So three different spirit talker sessions with different EMF devices and objects and paranormal investigation tools all at the same time. We've got two sets of shut doors between all of us, so. Let's see. Need help is the first thing that comes through. You need help? I guess I should ask, is there anybody actually here with me? Got a REM pod over there. And one up there. A couple cat balls. Who are you? <gasps> Little boy. Okay, well that's kind of freaky. So if you are a little boy, were you the one that rolled the ball down the stairs earlier? Because that happened right next to where I am right now. The stairs are right through that door. If this is the little boy, was that you? It's scary here. Okay. It's scary here for you? That's sad for that child. You know, maybe they were happy to play with the ball because it was something positive. But it's interesting, the whole time I felt like there was something drawing us up here to a more positive safe space and that that main floor holds something dark. Jeff got scratched, there's blood stains on the floor, the words were aggressive, sorrow, the energy was really intense. If you're a little boy, I think you should be able to touch that object right there because it's kind of your height. Can you do that for me? <gasps> okay, thank you. Can you do that again? Oh. Oh. Cool. Oh. Cool. It's like he likes playing with it. So you're right over here? Okay, that was really freaky. I'm in here alone. Little boy, it's scary here. I asked him to touch this because it's the height of a child. And then it goes off like crazy all of a sudden. It's been silent for like an hour and a half. And then cool. It's like a little kid, cool. That's a weird response. And it makes sense that he wouldn't touch this one, you know? Because this one's high. Maybe I should I'll put this over here and see if he can touch this. Doris. Doris. But it stopped when I stepped close, so I'm gonna step back here. If this is the little boy, I don't know who Doris is, but can you tell me how she might be able to help you? Or if you've been sad and lonely and it's a scary place and you thought that it was cool that you touched that thing and it lit up, can you do that again? Hear me. Hear me. Oh. Oh, 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 both. Both. Okay, now. I'm trying to stay calm. I know I freaked out earlier when that ball rolled down the steps, but hear me. And then immediately they went off again. And the one that didn't go off before when it was up here, which is out of reach of a little boy, goes off over here, which is the perfect reach of a little boy. Can you touch it again? Distract. Distract. Now that could mean a number of things. It's a distraction from this little boy's existence. 
Maybe he feels like I'm getting distracted with those devices. I don't know, let, let me know what you think, either in the chat if you're watching this live or in the comment section below. I guess I'll sit back down over here. It seems like when I'm coming over there by you, you don't want to touch the devices or maybe you're afraid, maybe somebody hurt you. Can you tell me your name or something about you? If you are the, the little boy, I'm still a little boy too. I'm here just to talk to you and hang out with you, little guy. You are nice. <gasps> I am nice, dude. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to come hang out with you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm sorry if I get excited when you show me that you can play. I just haven't played with somebody like this in a while. Can you just tell me like your name or who you are? You can also play with those things still if you want to. Haunted. I don't know what haunted would mean. Are you saying this is a haunted house? Are you recording? Yeah. That sounds like a question that like a little boy would ask. Like, are you filming? Are you taking a picture? Look, look, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm recording. Do you wanna do something for me? Is, is that what you wanna do? Feel free to, there's a little ball you can go touch over there, but I won't bother you. Mick. Mick. Is that your name? Mick? <gasps> Mick? Maybe Mickey? Yeah, I'm recording. We're delighted you're here. Mickey, is it okay if I come over towards you? I wanna, here. Come give me a hug. Yeah, come give me a hug, buddy. Oh, it feels really warm right here. Maybe you just need a hug, dude. I'm sorry about what happened to you and that you feel sad and alone. But every time I see, Mick and Hannah. Is that a girl that you liked? A girl you thought was cute? Hannah? Maybe Hannah's another spirit that's here. Mick, the little boy, has a crush on her. And he's talking about, we're delighted you're here. We're happy you're here. It's all the kids are happy that we're here to like play with them because they played with the ball. I know a lot of people don't come here with the tools and toys that we have, so you can play with them all night long. I'm sorry that you feel like this. Mick, my guy, you can come give me a hug. You can hang out all night, dude. You want to play with those things one more time? Go ahead. You don't need my permission. It's just crazy. Like, all these words are so positive, you know? Like, every word is positive compared to some of the stuff we were getting down there. Oh. Avoid this area. Oh. Why? Are you warning me that there's somebody bad here? He killed us. Oh, oh, he killed us. Chills, guys. What the hell, dude? Oh, right when I turned it around. Right, right when I stopped recording it. Remember it I said- I lied to you. Oh. I lied to you? Oh. Oh, I feel weird now. I've never gotten that. I lied to you? At first, it was a nice, happy, caring little boy who I gave a hug and said he could come hang out. Then it said, all of a sudden, avoid this area. He killed us. I lied to you. Um, okay. 
it's almost like there's another spirit that came in and was like, get out of here. You need to stop hanging out with him. You're not, you should not have fun. Cause I felt good energy at first, but now I'm kind of creeped the fuck out. I'm going to stay away from that, that desk. Even though I have to sleep right here tonight, which is not a good look for me. What did you lie to me about? Yeah, you lied about something? What was it? God, dude. And it's only the one. The other REM pod isn't going off. What did you lie about? And look at this REM pod is working perfectly fine. Both of them. I'm gonna have to go soon, but if you killed these kids and maybe you're, or you killed somebody, I don't know what to mean. Hi. Hi. Now I'm getting a really creepy vibe, almost like there's somebody in here who's like trying to gain my trust. It's like a different spirit. Attachment. Oh, that is, that's not what I want. Especially after this conversation where I just put trust into a little, little, little boy. When you say attachment also, big bad guy, you can't follow me home and no, you cannot be attached to me. That's not how this whole thing works. There is no attachment here. I'm gonna leave this property and you're not gonna follow me. You can't follow me. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Huh. Okay, yes I can is extremely point or, I mean, I'm excited that it's like so spot on, but no, you cannot follow me. You cannot follow or attach to me, okay? That's not how this is gonna work. <sighs> okay, I'm a little creeped out now. Nope. Leave. Also, I don't know why I wanted to do this in the bedroom that I'm sleeping in tonight. If this thing wants to attach to me, it's gonna... Damage. Look at now the words start becoming negative. Damage. If this thing wants to attach to me, it's gonna do it when I'm asleep in this f***ing room. Heavy. Heavy. Dude, it's just so goddamn quiet all of a sudden. If this is the bad guy, you're not allowed to follow me. You're not allowed to attach to me. But if the little kid, the little boy is still here, can you say one last thing to me? I just want to know that you're okay. I care about you and I want to make sure that you're okay here. Now this doesn't seem like the little boy anymore. If you guys see any shadows in here, let me know, but I haven't seen any shadow. I don't see your shadow. I don't really want to see your shadow if you're the evil person. And I think the little boy's gone. So whatever happened to you, dude, you can come back tonight and I'll keep you safe, but I'm going to get out of this room now and go meet up with my dad and our friend. That was a crazy little session, wasn't it? That was like mind blowing how relevant all the answers were. And it really seemed like a, a young boy at first that was literally playing with the devices on the other side of the room at sometimes both of them. So there was literally something right there touching them. And then it's like, I lied to you. Like, I'm not a little boy. Like, I don't need help, anything like that. And then it just, the devices essentially almost went silent except for when it said attachment, which is eerie. Okay, thank you. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video, like smash that like button and comment, I love ghost hunting in the comments section below. I'm gonna give you all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
So go comment. You can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. And we have some really exciting collabs coming up soon. Videos with Exploring with Josh, Nick Groff from Ghost Adventures, and Twin Paranormal, along with some other really, really crazy investigations, locations, and evidence. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much, and stay spooky. Is there anyone here with me? Thank you for turning on that flashlight. Can you turn it off for me, please? Thank you. Can you turn it off all the way, please? Leonard. Leonard. Is Leonard your name? Turn on that light if Leonard is your name. but sounded like a whisper in the other room. Did I just hear you whisper? I know that I am dead. Can you tell me how you died? Hear us. Hear us. I did hear you. Can you say something else so I can hear you again? Very nice. Can you make a sound wherever you are? That was by the fireplace. Hello, Mom. Hello, Mom. Hi, what's your name? Can you turn the light off, please? All the way. Thank you. I have full body chills right now. All right, can you keep the light off so I can ask you a question? I'm agitated. Oh my goodness, it just said I'm agitated. Who's here with me right now? 1920s. Is that when you killed somebody? Accident. Did you die in an accident? I was really feeling like there was something in here, but I think. I hear that this house burnt down. Were you here when the home burned down? Attach. Well, you're not allowed to attach to me. Can you show me that you're here by making a noise or touching one of the devices in here? If you're in that room, you can come in here and talk with me. I'm then playing games. So I'm playing games. Would you like to play a game with me? You walk in through this door. There you go. Great job. If you come stand right next to me, then you can set off this one too. You can talk to me. You're safe here. Good job. Am I talking to one of the children here? Set that off if you're one of the children. Who are you? Jim. Jim. We got Jimmy earlier. Is your name Jim or Jimmy? Set that off if that's your name. Can you say something loud so I can hear you with my ears? Doorway. It's a doorway. 
Are you right here next to me? Are you talking to Jeff right now? My body is close by. I said, my body is close by. Were you buried here? I know you. How do you know me? That was loud. Jeff? Yeah. Are you good? Just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> He's in the other room. And then, Jeff, you'll never f believe it. It said your name. Did it? My spirit talker said your name. Oh, f I know. Oh, cat ball below. Dude, got a cat ball going off. Whoever's here? Eli. Okay, Eli. This is going crazy. So Eli, tell me any other word you want. Anything associated with the house. People, furniture, the place, the land. Okay. This thing's been going like crazy. Wanna light this device up on camera for me if you know that I'm here with good intentions for you? Thank you. You're safe around me. You're acknowledging that. Thank you. There's a lot of you in here right now. Now I kind of know why it's your safe place. Your face. So what about when you say your face, what do you mean by that? What would you say about my face? See my shadow. Where is your shadow? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. You really gave me chills here. Wow. Shadow. Wow. You already said, see my shadow, and now you say shadow again. Where? I mean, I'm not afraid to see your shadow if you want to show me your shadow. Or if it's behind me and the camera cap captures it, that's fine. This room is exhausting. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just it's draining my energy. Um, okay. That camera just went off. Just died. I'm just going to sit here and, and see if I feel or listen. I'm going to look for your shadow. Okay, so I think I've given enough time. I have to leave. We're gonna go downstairs. So thank you for your time and for playing the games. It's awesome. Okay, so Kaylin, what happened to you? Uh, I had the REM pod over here going off like crazy. Mine was too. Yeah. I didn't have a REM pod. Yeah. But my K2 meter was going off like nuts. And the flux was going off just oh. all the time this flashlight started going on and off it literally uh it was responding to me at first turning on and off uh sometimes like when i was telling it to turn off it would go off and then it started literally like on off on off on off and then it just stayed on um i got jeff's name on the spirit talker after that i had some weird like I got, I'm playing games over the Spirit Talker and then right after the REM pod started going off. Was it like the color REM pod, like the actual energy? Mm -hmm. So was mine mm -hmm. over here. Yeah, it was, it was going crazy at so some was point. Mine. It was going, the, all of this, all of like. Yeah, that. me too. It's weird, it's like it's not like now. Yeah. Since I got here, right? that hasn't gone off at mm -hmm. all. Well, eerie, it knows Jeff. Hey, everybody knows Jeff. What about you? Mine was a really great you have to watch the video really comfortable there for one thing 
and then my lights were going off and I just felt like and they kept saying like um, shadow morning shadow see my shadow so maybe on the film I said if it's here show show Wait, your shadow see my shadow see my shadow I got that same thing really see my shadow okay that was the last thing I got so that was, it was really that was really interesting and like my my K2 same thing going off the cat ball went off three or four times mine at first said little boy and then um or need help and I was like oh I'm sorry dude like what's wrong I was like, if you want, you come play with these toys. And that was the first time that the REM pods went off. And I was like, woo! And then it said, cool. And I was like, oh. So I moved the other one that I had set up higher up down. And I was like, you can go play with that one too. And then both of them went off. And I was like, what the f But then it kept saying, I took a screenshot of it. It said, uh, hear, like, hear me. And then immediately they went off. And I was like, oh, yeah, I hear you, dude distract and I was like yeah, it might be a nice distraction from whatever and I said you're nice and I was like I'm sorry man like if someone else is not being nice to you and I went I was like you can give me a little hug and then it went off when I was <laughs> giving a hug and I was like cool and then it said Mick I'm like is your name Mick and I said we're delighted you're here then I got Hannah but then all of a sudden it said avoid this area Steven he killed us and I was like oh shit and then all of a sudden it said I was lying. Attachment. And I was like, Ooh, I oh. Whoa. So, attach. Oh. You have that too? Yeah. I Weird. And I said no. Yeah, I said no too. Mm. But then it went almost completely dead silent, all the REM pod. And I was like, it felt like the little boy was actually there. And then like the bad thing came. Weird. Maybe that's when it said Jeff for you. Yeah. Yeah, I just looked back at it. Why am I involved doorway. in this, you know? I don't know. Again, I don't get it. I got doorway, and then it came up with Jeff, and so I was yeah. pointing at the doorway and shaking like a leaf. <laughs> and I wonder and about then it said the, Jeff. I wonder oh about gosh. the doorway, you know, was mm -hmm. behind me, where I felt that came from yeah, last night. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, but that's weird. I felt like it was, again, in and out. Mm -hmm. Like it, it went so quiet, yeah. but then also then I'd get that feeling again that like Something's something's here. Something's not right. And then all of a sudden it would go mm -hmm. off again You know, I think there's a level of like the rooms like I definitely didn't feel at all Creeped out back there. Mm -hmm. I did feel like they said it's a safe place I felt really comfortable like they're they feel safe with me and they like me and as I moved up to here I feel a different energy, and then over and over where you're at, it's almost like a segmented house, meaning that that's where they lived, you know, the, the, the slave quarters, and they had all themselves, is what I talked to them about, like why they're safe, but well, they have each other, there's a lot of them, they're, they're just, they support each other, right, and then it's more separate here, you know, this is the people that have the money, but that's kind of my feeling, not a bad guy, a mean guy with them, but he's down there waiting for us. But we got the bad guy over here. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. You know, because yeah. mine was a, like... a happy little boy and then all of a sudden it said, he killed us, You're, I was lying. And I'm like, attachment. Mm -hmm. I got, the my pod. body is close by. I think it's about time we finish this up in yeah. the basement with Kaylin. It's been, that was a really, I, that was enjoyable. Yeah, I, I, like I, got, a, I got way more than share, I thought we would. Share with what you guys get. I mean, I think that's really interesting. You'll probably hear my heartbeat going crazy <laughs> in the video. You'll see me going, <sighs> and like yeah. shaking the whole time. Were you, were you gingerly <laughs> charged? Oh, very. Yeah. <laughs> a little more than gingerly this time. <laughs> a little tickling all over. Yeah. Let's gingerly make our way downstairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to make some gingerly ginger tea. And that would be nice. Calm my stomach. <laughs> I was wondering where you were going. Off base on that again, <laughs> okay. I know. Well, I was dreaming. I have tea every day. I'm like, damn. So the Estes downstairs, we were allowed to go to the basement where that rock formation is that may be causing some of the hauntings in the home. And let me tell you, we had Kaylin do the Estes so that people say, you know, all the time, maybe Jeff and I are working answers together, doing something like that. It's not like that. As you're about to see in this footage right here, Kaylin was spitting out some of the most accurate, the most on point responses that we've gotten in actually a while. And her response is actually 
Uh, it got to a point where Jeff almost wanted to quit filming because it seemed to be targeting him in some sort of a weird way. Okay, so right now we're down in the basement of the plantation. This is an infamous haunted area. Lots of experiences people have reported down here from seeing shadow figures, seeing full bodied apparitions to hearing noises, hearing screaming. Um, people have reported hearing the sounds of a murder happening above them. This is just an all around notorious part of this building. They've given us access to this little corner down here. So that's where we're gonna do our last Estes session. We're putting Kaylin under to see what she can hear. She's never done an Estes before. Right behind us. This, uh, if you see right here, this is the geode that he was talking about in the interview. Let's try, try to focus. That big rock, it's like the tip of an iceberg. And that's what a lot of the paranormal people say about this place is that it might be so haunted because of that specific rock and the fact that there's so much geomagnetic energy underneath the house. It's been said before that that rock at times shifts and actually shakes the entire home. So, this is kind of a place where you're gonna find something creepy. And also, remember, walk through the house. The two places I felt was in the, the slave quarters, mm -hmm. and right here. <clears throat> but we thought the, I thought the geo was across the building back in that way, but it's actually right there. So the door is what I felt. Yep, it was my second place, which is weird. That's by the geo rock here. And I also felt like this area was powerful, and I had no idea that the geode was right yeah, there. It was actually we, covered up by some stuff well, that we had to move. Yeah. All right, Kaylin. Mm -hmm. So, see you on the other side. <laughs> okay, so to whoever's down here, once again, my name's Colin. I'm Jeff. And we're here to just try to figure out who you are. Can you tell us your name? Okay, let's see a second his name that was thought to be down here they told us he's waiting for us yeah who is that guy what's that name of that guy who yep right yeah, that's who we're, we're yep. trying to figure out yep what's your name here okay so you are here but who are you stop being elusive at this point you've been antagonizing my dad what what are you? Who are you? Give us a clue. Bursting. Bursting. Give us a, a good clue about who you are. We need to know at this point. It's gotten too far. Especially if you're torturing the children. Actually, we got here. Okay, here. Here we go. Don't okay, me. now that you're here, did you scratch this guy right here? Did you scratch him? Hello. Oh, okay. All right. Let me ask, you seem to be the guy who scratched my dad. You've been kind of with us this whole time. Seems like you somewhat terrorized the kids here. Why? Why are you so angry? He scratched me so because he's angry. Yeah, but why is yeah. he so angry? Why are you why are you so angry? Marco. Margo. Okay. Oh, Margaret. The young girl? Oh. No. So then who's Margo? Jennywhere. Anywhere. Where's Margo? Anywhere. Anywhere. Did Margo hurt you? I think. Okay, so you're angry. You say Margo. Why, though, still? What happened to you? I'm the dad. You're the dad. They got murdered. Oh. Is that why you're angry? Because your son killed you? Oh my gosh. Maybe, that maybe was, that's why maybe. he scratched you because you're a dad. Yeah. He wants someone else to feel his pain. And I'm a son. Never really thought about that. So, you're the dad. Does that mean you were murdered here? One. I'm here. Okay. What, what happened to you in this house? Are you again the one that scratched me though? He's not even mad that you scratched him. Oh. We just, just want to figure out why you're so upset. Yeah. Yes or no? Did you scratch me? On my way. Are you coming? You're not allowed to. He 
He's coming down. You're not allowed to scratch in us or do anything further. With me. With me. I will make you. That was really loud. I will make you come with me? Jesus. Dude. An attachment? <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. Gonna. No. Oh. Okay, any. Any idea that you would try to come with us or me? I will have you. Oh my god, dude. Animal. This is Caleb. Oh, I got chills. Me too. <laughs> okay, so again, you're not gonna come with me. You're not gonna have me. You might have gotten a swipe at me, but you're. I, there's no I'm way. I'm not done. <sighs> what the? What are you gonna do? What else are you gonna do? Side of my head. Yeah, me too. What else are you gonna do to us? Is this the dad? Is this what we're coming to, or what? I think the dad's like angry. Wow. Okay. You know we've never done anything to you. Why don't you just move on? I really, I really want to know. Since you say you're coming and with me. Oh. I can. With me, you're coming. I'm coming. Help me. I'm coming. I can. Yeah, you can what? What are you about to do when you come? Or what do you want to do to us? What do you want to do to him? Yeah, what, what's your plan with me? I mean, I don't understand why me, but... Never. I... Ignore. Just like ignore, like almost, you know. I heard movement upstairs. Terrified. Oh, okay, I'm getting a little freaked out here, so... Are you saying we need to be terrified of you? This thing is just like, it never wants to like talk to us. Right. Yeah. Like specifically, the little yeah. girl wants yeah. to talk to no, us. No, yeah. But yeah. this angry guy? Yeah, no. He just wants to scare you. Right. Scratch you and attack exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. So, we think that you're the father who's angry and you take it out on others like me. I'm a friend. Oh, that's what it said at the very... I'm telling the truth. Okay. Dude, remember what it said at the very beginning yesterday, though? Don't trust the bad ones. That's right. I'm a friend. Right, right. Until this chick. I think we were kind of warned about you, huh? Yeah. So what do you want from us? Yeah. I guess, tell us what you want, honestly. We, we don't think you're a friend. I think you're lying. You've yeah. told me lots of different lies. What do you want? Why? Because you're saying you might try to follow me or attach oh, to me. Man. Oh my God, that was like a scream. Why the, why I'm again a target? Because you're a dad. She's I feel like you as the darker man, the dark entity. Survive. You like to no. Yeah, you. You like Help to me. Margaret. Margaret! Oh my god. No fucking way, dude. That was, who's that girl in the Margaret. Margaret is our girl. And we got that on the Estes, not on the Spirit Talker. Yes. What? Margaret, are you here with us? Did you just come down, Margaret? Help me, dude. Help me, Margaret again. What? Okay, we're dealing with some different people here. Margaret and the old man are here once again. Okay. Same thing. Margaret, we're here. Little Margaret, remember? You're safe talking to us. Just let us know it's you again. After. There it goes. Yeah, it does. So, can you verify, Margaret? Can you let us know that you're... See you. Okay. We're here for you. Are you with, are you with an angry man? You. Early for 
run from Grace. It's kind of creepy because she's kind of like looking at me. I know. You know what I mean? Look at she's addressing me. <laughs> I want to. Oh my god, dude! I, I save them. That sounds like Margaret yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Save them because yeah. there's multiple kids that we've been talking to this whole time. Oh right? yeah, I this have... man is like oppressing them. Margaret. I was conjured. He did say in the interview he was going to leave you for us. Oh. Can you say your name, Margaret? Can you say Margaret or M? I'm upset. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm upset. We understand. <clears throat> now it's the old man again, the angry man. It's just back and forth, crazy energy. When I'm speaking to the man who scratched my dad, were, did you die here? Or did you just come to the house after your death? Or maybe you were brought here? Jesus, heaven. Is that where you want to go? But I who, wonder. But who, who wants to go to heaven or become one with Jesus? Is it Margaret? Is it the Father? I mean, who who are we talking to? Everyone. Everyone. Baby. Well, you know, anybody can go and be one with God, so it goes, or with, re I don't know how to put that. But. You know, I think, I want to say. Vortex. Vortex. Vortex here. The, the, yeah. the. The portal that they always talk about right. is right behind us, the rock. And you know what's interesting is this Estes, just like all the other ones, has been like a bunch of different people coming through. Oh, yeah. And that's why it's kind of hard to make like as this many. This place is loaded. Yeah, there's like, I mean, the quote 70 people that died here. You don't, I don't, obviously we'd have no historical backing for no. that, but a lot of people did lose their lives, yeah. not only here, but in this but area. The land. Yeah. And that they're associated with, like he even said. Yeah. You so know. there's just so many people. We don't know exactly, but what do you what do you want from us? If we could do something for you, sure. I'm nice. I'm nice. You're the nice one. That sounded like a kid. Oh, Margaret. Okay, Margaret. Okay, Margaret. Let's keep you here, Margaret. Kill love. I think it's back and forth. Yeah, it's like it's like talking. overpowering. At risk. It's, it's like uh, risking to talk uh, to mm -hmm. us like the bad I'm man's gonna kill you. I'm going to kill you. Ah, dude. Peter. I'm like, what the? I don't know, man. This is like, I'm gonna Kalen's kill never you. done this before. No. Okay, who are you going to kill? I mean, I'm not sure why you want to, you're so angry that you want to keep going. Don't you want to go to heaven? Do you want to go to heaven and just give up all this anger? That's my guess. It even sounds like to me, it could be Margaret down here trying to talk to us to get a message, or like the little boy was talking to me upstairs. <laughs> like a really creepy. Oh God. She's on it. Yeah. Like we got that's, that's Margaret or a kid. Well, like I'm saying. Oh no. We got oh no, but it, it's like the angry Back man keeps forth. coming in yeah. to stop the communication. Like he, do, he doesn't he want these. Like <sighs> Like he doesn't want these kids to leave or no, he wants to like no. have them here. Margaret, you know, you can hear us. You know you can leave. You have to know they that. They take other I'm forms. In I'm in here. Oh, they, they take, take other, other forms. forms. Oh my God. You can't turn yeah. this into something else. Oh. I got actually all of a sudden goosebumps. There's too many. <sighs> Just what we talked about. Okay, we specifically want you to, to let go of your control over Margaret you need to let her go no matter what something name like an angry way she said it yeah okay but again you don't have control over Margaret actually only a higher power does and she needs to go be let go if you're holding her somehow with fear and Margaret you, you got to know that you can leave okay this angry guy if you choose to stay that's your own karma your own soul will suffer for that and that goes to any spirits kids adults who are in here if this angry man is here yeah. holding you yeah. like he's saying he's even going to follow us come yeah. with us yeah he has no power me. he has no power he tried to no. scare him we're no. not scared man no. we're down here in the area where he said he was we have you right here in the corner remember me i'm gonna tell you that's creepy 
<laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah. the way she says it, even. I know. It's like she's under the. See my shadow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hell. Oh. Wow, is she hearing all this now? I don't know. She's got tuned in here. Get you. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. See. Okay, we need to somehow figure this out, like to stop this. We're, We're not going to hell. We're not. You're not gonna get us. What? What? Why are? Why are you so angry, dude? Why are you holding these? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you. Why are you holding yeah. these kids hostage? Yeah. She's just again back up addressing me. Her posture was different. It's different. Strange. Okay. Are you? Are you addressing me? I've never done anything to you. I know like you, he wants to add another soul yeah, to his collection. I know you scratched me. You're talking about coming with me, attaching to me. You, you cannot do that. You don't have... I'm actually an ordained minister, by the way. And I pray, and I, my prayer is much stronger than what you I'm have. Alive. You're stronger alive, but when you're dead, yeah. he's going to get you. Yeah, we love talking. <laughs> so, that's done. You, you're, you're not... Coming with me, attaching to me. You might have got, again, like I said, a swipe at me with a scratch, but that's over with. You have to let go of Margaret or any other kids you have under your control because they get to go to a safe place and a happy place. You understand that? The up. The up, yeah. Occurrence. Or get up. Can you just tell us how many people are trapped He's here? Bad. Yeah. No, we know. Mm -hmm. Two eight. 28. 28. I just asked how many? Yeah. 28. And yeah, he's bad. Okay, I think we've got all this. We know. Okay, if you're a kid or you're someone who's trapped here, who cares what the angry man does? What can we do to help you? Just tell us one thing we can do to help you. I kind of feel like Linda Blair and the exorcist is here. <laughs> I mean, Margaret, you have to leave. Go to the happy place you know where it's at. Wow. Get away from this person. This person that scratched me, the angry man. Don't trust them. Don't trust him. I have way more power through my belief system than you than you ever will. You could still be saved yourself. No. You can. You, you have need to, to let go of your anger. Yeah, you need to let go. You too mm -hmm. can go to a happier place. Do you understand that? Not yet. Why? Why? Because, creepy. yeah, you are creepy. You're hurting people. You're hurting these spirits, these energies. That's why you need to move on. Go inside. That was really clear. God. Man voice. Wow, dude. I'm just saying, you really need to let go of that anger. Yeah. There's something you're lashing out at people. You're scaring children and you're hurting lives, even if everyone's dead. Yeah. Let go of that anger. He's taken over the whole conversation, by the way. Yeah. We're, we're not hearing from Margaret. I'm hoping Margaret and the other people that are really innocent of anything, that are trapped by you, I hope they're gone to the happier place already. Margaret, can you hear us? Margaret or any of the other kids, can you say yes if you can hear us? I'm getting blocked. I'm getting blocked from hearing us. Okay, so I want to try one more time. You think it is the father? Secret. Um, you... He's bad. It's the kids Why? that... Why? That's him. Or die. Okay. It's the kids getting blocked okay, from we, talking. Okay, we have to know, though, that the kids like Mark. Back to you. Again, looking right at me. I'm coming for blood. Jesus Christ. Baptism. What the fuck? This is some crazy <laughs> shit. I mean, this is crazy. And honestly. I'm coming for you. <sighs> Dude, I don't, I don't know if we should know how we're going to keep going So here. much to choose from. Okay, so let's say, buddy, you come for us. What are you going to do? What do you think you're going to do? Tell me now, be a man, what are you gonna do? 
I heard like a growl. They said twice too, we love talking, I don't mind speaking. Okay. They know we're doing an Estes. Make it true, okay, or dream come true. How do we end this so we can kind of like get this out of here? If Margaret or any of the other kids are here, please know that. And? That whoever this guy. Nasty. You have to know that whoever this guy is, if it's the father who was murdered or somebody who is just here, they don't control you. Do you understand? Save me. Save me. Okay, so the only way we can save Demand. you, the way we can save you, okay, not Margaret and everybody, is you have to leave. And, you know, some people will say go to the light, go to the happy place you know is there. You can cross that boundary without worrying and then for you the angry man you can as well you, you have the ability to be forgiven you just have to have it in your heart do you understand that see si. like us i forgive you voices okay do you understand that i forgive you for scratching me you can become a better version of your soul go on okay. collect i don't think some people just want to you know what i mean no. There's bad souls. You see, oh, fallen oh, angels. I think that genuinely, these kids are stuck here. I don't know how much we can He's do. He's coming. Uh, yeah. And it's all about him. He's coming. The all, yeah. both of our nights. Do it. Yeah. And know. he got scratched. Get him. <laughs> There's too many threats here, you know. Too. I think we're gonna close this down. And we, like I said, did not expect to come across oh any God. sort of energy like this, but it's every single time we've done this. There's that really innocent... Oh I don't know what that said, but it stopped, and then it was really loud, like a man's voice God. saying, get out or something. Okay, we have to. But I think that genuinely, there have been kids. I gave a little kid a hug. He was seeming to love playing with me. We were playing the balls with them. Candles. Candles. The fire. The I, fire. Had all, I had my five kids. Yep. Like there's a lot of children's Dang, spirits here. Yeah. And then, but then there's this one adult that we've talked to yeah. the whole time that is just unexplainably just angry. Oh. Everything he says, I want blood. He scratches Jeff. Not to be afraid of, I'm not afraid of this thing, but Dad. it's like, <sighs> but it's just like, yeah. there's just something really weird going on at this yeah. this place. Yeah. I guess, let okay. me ask you, if you have any- I've got him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, they what? got the kids. Yeah. Got the kids. If there's anything that you have left to Ask say. Ask me. God, look at her. Talk to me. Me. I am asking you. Okay? Let all these kids go, first of all. It doesn't seem like you want to be a better person. Right? Or spirit. Because you are dead. But you can't control all these kids. We got to get going. See? That just came up on just my like thing. See. C just Wait. came up four words ago on the spirit talker. Are you, uh, something? Let me just ask Margaret, the man, what are your final words to us? What do you want us, is there something we can do before we leave? Because we have to leave tomorrow and we're probably not coming back. Tonight? <laughs> we're leaving tomorrow. God damn. Margaret, the Stupid other ass bitch. people. Jeez, this is like, I, I don't know what's happening again. Yeah, I hate to turn into anything. We can't. I mean, this is just God like, damn. This is like angry and... This is just what's happening. We're not... I know. He's fake. He's fake. All the innocent people, you have to move on. You can move on. He can't follow you into the happy place. We have power. <gasps> Okay. Look at, we just taught him. Yep. We have power. You do have power. Yes. As a group, you can move on. You have to do that. Okay? We're not. We're gonna leave you with that. We know you can. What's your final word to That's us? That's it. This is it. This is the last thing you can say. No last. Oh God, that was like a scream, like a, ah! Oh my God. What? Like a kid. Oh, I'm disturbed, oh, dude. God. This took like a really dark. He killed. Oh, I have a chill again too. Okay, we gotta try. No luck. Come from. Okay, we have to not communicate anymore. I, know. I don't want to do it anymore. Please. No. Okay. So we said we were gonna do the end. 
they're trying, he's trying not to be in here. Yeah. Too much. What do you want to do? No. Okay. It's hard to. It's all gibberish. Sorry, it's all gibberish. Okay, let's tap her. Okay, you ready? Okay. We are going to say goodbye to you now. Okay? Thanks. Oh. Okay, thanks. That's it. I'm going to tap her out. Should I get closer to her? Yeah. I can scare you. I can scare you. Okay, I'm going to tap her out. Oh, God. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> oh, We're going to stop you because it. That was crazy. Was it? That was fucking insane. That might was it? That was crazy. I was definitely really creeped out. So, way. yeah, what what did you actually... You seem to really tap into a good and a bad, mm -hmm. if you will, you know? Yeah, I heard Jesus and... But... And, but then, like, God damn, and then... Well, you had a lot of stuff, and you were talking to us directly. And really? Was, and there was direct responses in there? Tons. <laughs> Oh, Dude, wow. yeah, yeah. That's that you're, gonna, you're gonna be like, scary. Jeff literally was you're, saying we need to quit because he's yeah, so scared. You're, we look, you're looking at me like you're really blindfold. Oh, Your shit. head is at at me. I'm over here, and you turn, and you just like you're like. Oh my gosh. It was literally like the evil man was talking. Yeah. And he was answering all of our questions. Yeah. Even at the end, we yeah. said these are gonna be our what are your last words, and you said no last. Yeah. And mm -hmm. a scream, and we were like, what the fuck. Yeah. That scream was crazy too, yeah. and it was over multiple frequencies. It was like ah, like it went like that the whole yeah. time. Ooh. Well, I mean, even at the end, we said okay, we're gonna we were doing spirit talker. Like okay, that's it. We're gonna say goodbye. It said thanks. Our Jeff was saying, hey, we got the name Margaret too on the spirit oh. talker. That's Margaret. the name I heard in the mm -hmm. Estes last night that's and a again girl. today. Mm -hmm. Little girl and got it on this, and we got on the spirit talker. We did. That's crazy. I think we should get out of the basement, though. Yeah, that was actually a super great. Really? Estes. Wow. Yeah. yeah, really. That was Not better, than, that was better than mine. No, you're kind, of, you're kind of freaking me out, actually. <laughs> no, he was like, he was Cause, actually cause, freaked cause out. Because your, de your demeanor, it, yeah. you, you almost turned into somebody else, oh, right? Gosh. Yeah, you were channeling that guy. Kept that saying, I'm coming, I'm coming for you, I'm going to oh. get you, I'm yeah. coming yeah. for blood. Yeah. That was blood, kill. Okay, well, what, what should we, let's wrap, huh? Yeah. That's crazy. Did the so robots go off? So the plantation as a whole, Wheatland's Plantation, um, I'd never heard of, and um, it's got an amazing amount of history like a lot of these places have. The architecture was so cool, the way, you know, it's from, I believe, the federal style, uh, and yet indoors or inside, it's been kind of modernized. Uh, it's got kind of both a feel of both. So that was a different feel for me, but I think the history, when you look at it as a whole, there's appears to be so much, you know, death that it, it just turned out to be a really interesting location. Uh, and, I, and the land obviously included. Uh, it'd be a place that I think I could have spent multiple more days there. And I think as we were there, we were getting more and more comfortable with I think um, the spirits that reside there, I think we're really starting to react to us a lot more. So overall, I thought it was a really fascinating location and, and unexpected really to the amount of activity we got. So it really was a pleasure being able to check the Wheatlands Plantation off of my paranormal bucket list. That is such a famous place with such a famous story or stories with so much death and tragedy. I mean, Everybody knows that place in the paranormal. To be able to have it for two nights was a blessing. I can't thank the homeowners enough. Those guys were super awesome for letting us stay there. Jeff and I didn't have anything happen to us during the night. In fact, the beds were very comfortable. And um, I don't know. I really don't understand what the meaning of all of it is. Uh, on one hand, you have this negative thing that seemed to attack my dad, Papa Spooks, that scratched him and was saying it wants blood in the basement. and it was like uh, malicious and then you had the children's spirits the innocent girls the the accidental deaths the kind of sad history of obviously slavery and everything that occurred there in that building and it, i don't know what to make of it let's say even the ghost of the murder victim is there why would he want to attack my dad why would his spirit 
be so angry that he wants to scratch somebody? Is it because he was murdered himself and he wants someone else to kind of feel that same pain? I, that doesn't really make sense to me. It seems almost like there's an unexplainable just force that's there in the plantation, but it's not a bad place. It's not a scary place. It was actually a really, really cool place to be able to investigate. And like I said, with the comfortable beds there, we slept like rocks both nights, but you can rent the place out on Airbnb. Go check it out now. It was truly a pleasure being one of the only paranormal teams that have been actually invited there um, and given a, a proper tour of the plantation by the owners. So I cannot thank those guys enough. Yeah, lots of mystery there at the Wheatlands Plantation. So much more of the history that I feel like has not been discovered and, you know, may never be discovered, may be lost to history. And I thought it was interesting. If you guys like this, this experiment we did where we did the blind investigation and then did the tour later and then investigated again, let us know. But this was, yeah, this is an investigation that both nights we're never gonna be able to forget. But thank you all for watching. Uh, it's Colin Brown here. And as always, everybody, I love you all so much and stay spooky.